Once upon a time, there was a YouTube channel, and the name of that YouTube channel was youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. And the person on that YouTube channel was me, Johnny Chiodini. Hello. How's everyone doing? I, as you may be able to tell, um, this. That's what we've got going on today. Hi. Hmm. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, today, we will be playing Storyteller. What Storyteller? Let me put myself up in the corner and then I'll tell you. <laughs> Storyteller is an interactive game where you tell, wait for it, stories. Uh, basically, I, I've never played this before, but I've seen pictures of it and it looks super, super cute. You are given a prompt that's like a tale of love. And then you have to populate the panels of basically a comic with characters and like concepts items no I'm not drunk shipwrecks vids no I'm just um, in a weird mood today clearly um, apparently it takes about two hours to play from start to finish I'm assuming that's without while also streaming so we'll probably stretch this to about three hours knowing me but uh, it, we, we may wrap it up sooner so I figured let's play storyteller and then maybe we'll we'll jump into Dave the Diver. We'll just sort of see how things are going. Talking of how things are going, how are you all? That was absolutely seamless. How are you doing? I hope you're all well. Uh, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry that I uh, didn't stream on Monday, but I had to go to Durham because my partner needed to get their passport renewed and we needed a, an emergency, well, not an emergency, but a, a, a quick fire appointment uh, to get it done in time for the trip we are taking next month uh, and the only, well, the nearest and most convenient appointment was in Durham so I we went to Durham, it was nice, I had two pints with the nice witch that was pretty great, it was good fun so, like, I wasn't streaming but the day wasn't a dead loss you know? so, I have actually, oh I've got two super chats now from Ethan Miguel Serkey, the first one reads Hi Johnny Attell, it's Ethan Miguel EM. Still in hospital, was looking forward to your stream, but they scheduled home IV training to let me out at the same time, and I've been looking forward to that more. So, story VOD for me. I mean, that, to be honest with you, home IV training sounds very important. Much more important than watching me streaming. Uh, and the good news is that it will be on VOD, whereas, like, living through training is not really a thing you can do on demand. But I'm really glad that you're going to be uh, home uh, soon. Um, and I hope you're doing all right. Uh, Ethan has also done a super chat saying, P.S. I bought Dave the Diver on my Steam Deck that I luckily thought to bring. Smart move. Great game to dig in and distract myself. Good. All right. Um, I'm, well, yeah. Get get home soon. Get well soon. I'll catch you on VOD. Hope you're doing all right. Let's jump into Storyteller, shall we? Yes, let's. Click. Storyteller. And a Panerniman Interactive. A book about building stories. Um with really intense music. How is the audio balance, by the way? Is that all right? Is that okay? Um, they called a Babylon Son of Super Chat saying, this is just the ticket after a family get together that was much better than anxiety led me to believe. Hooray! Um, if family get togethers can be a lot, but it's always such a relief uh, when they go, okay. Um, yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad it went well. Sorry, brain. Weird then. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and Interactive. then, Storyteller, a book about building stories. Can only hear your voice. Can you really not hear the game? Audio good, says Baddy Wrong Legs. Oh, the, the music will have stopped. But it started again. Right, a book about building stories. And a Interactive. Introduction. At the end of this book lies a crown. It is bestowed only to the finest storytellers of the realm. That's us. Um, Anonymous says, Johnny, just a heads up. I've been playing the Dave the Diver, and at one point a humpback whale swims by in the background. Mint. Uh, and at multiple points there are large sea monsters that try to eat you. Can't wait for that. I'm fine with large sea monsters. The whale will ship me up, but that's fine. Um, right. It is only bestowed to the finest storytellers of the realm. Some of you are saying that you can't hear the game. I've now cranked the game, like, way high. You should be able to hear the game. You should be able to hear, like, a... Like a gong type thing. 
It should be real fucking loud. A little bit quieter now. It's loud now. Yeah, okay, good. That's a bit loud now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Game now loud. Got it? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Right, here we go. Too loud. Yes, I've turned it back down. Don't worry. Um, no switch says more loud. Okay, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. We're gonna. I'm going to read the first page of this book eventually. Okay. At the end of this book lies a crown. It is bestowed only to the finest storytellers of the realm. Every page is empty save for a title. It is your duty to fill these pages with the most captivating tales. Complete this book and prove yourself worthy of the title of Storyteller! Life and Death, Chapter 1. Love! Adam starts alone, finds love, and dies happy. Make a story with this title. That is a shocking title for a book. Adam starts alone. Right, Adam. Adam. Adam, sp Adam starts alone with a leaf for a dick. Finds love. Eve. There's Eve. Her hair covering her chest. Uh, and then Eve is by herself just chilling out. But wait, whose name is that on the grave? Ebenezer Scrooge. She's sad now. Hooray! <laughs> oh dear. I wonder if we can... Oh. Oh. Ah, look at this! <laughs> if you remove Adam from there, she doesn't give a fuck. She's like, oh, what's this guy to me? I don't care. But if we put him back in... Sad. Hehehehe. <laughs> Turn into Waluigi, then making him sad. Um, but there we go. Adam starts alone, finds love, and dies happy. What's this? Oh, oh, that's back to the index. Heartbreak. Eve dies heartbroken. Adam. Oh, okay. Love. Love. Seems. Adam. And then death. Adam. Eve. Death. Eve. Ta-da! Um, PJ Buck has done a super chat saying, uh, Hi, LSPs and Johnnies. The Johnny sad news on the job. They went with someone else. Glad to sit on this stream while I lick my wounds. BMB do crims and stories. I'm sorry to hear about the uh, the job, PJ, but um, you, got, you got right in there. I know that that's often small recompense that you got close, but um, yeah, I do hope... Um, I do hope you feel better about it soon. Like, don't, like, you got in close, and I think that is great. And hopefully they'll have some, like, good feedback for you and stuff if you ask for it. But, um, yeah, let's do some stories about it. BNB, do crims and stories. Do story crims. Eve dies heartbroken. All right. After life. Seeing the ghost of a lover. Hmm. Eve. Oh. Love. Is chat frozen or are you just all being quiet today? What is going on? Interesting. I'm not seeing anything in chat. Love. Oh, there we go. We're frozen. Testing? Yes. Oh, okay. Chat appears to be back. Okay. Adam. Loves. Eve, right? Then Adam. Uh, no, I'm. Well, this is awkward because I'm like I'm. I'm tired of making Eve sad. She's always, you know, very sad because Adam's dead. But obviously, the alternative to that is we kill Eve. Hmm. Oh, we're being nice and quiet for story time. I see. Although Bumblewings, no, Aiden says I've had YouTube chat issues all week. Interesting. Uh, Jay Appleseed's done a super chat saying, Pig Tax, been meaning to ask if you ever played Frostpunk. It came out a couple of years ago, but I just stumbled on it recently. I haven't played Frostpunk. Um, I've played... It's from the same people who made this War of Mine, didn't it? Uh, isn't it? Um, which I loved. Um, love. Adam. Love. Ghost of Eve. Ghost of Eve. Ooh. 
Um, <laughs> Umbra says, it's time to play Sad or Dead. Uh, no, I've never played Frostpunk. Frostpunk. I keep meaning to, but like, I'm still kind of recovering from some of the events this war of mine put me through. Or rather, some of the choices it made me make. So I haven't uh, given it a go, but um, I should. I shall try it soon. Right, seeing the ghost of a lover. Done. Now here's something interesting. From what I know about this game, is that states persist between stories. So we've killed Eve. Apparently the next time we bring her in, she'll still be dead. I think. It's weird. Anyway, recovery. Broken hearts too. A heartbreak is healed. Here. Yeah. Let's see. A wedding? Um. Bernard and Edgar got married. Then Edgar was heartbroken on account of Bernard being dead. But then Edgar found love again with Lenora. Although, to be honest with you, Isabel... Oh, Isabel looks less horrible there. I say horrible. Is I was thinking, Isabel looks like the kind of type whose husbands would die in, like, suspicious circumstances. So I was tempted to put her in at start, like... Isabel marries Edgar, who gets confused by a grave and remarries his wife. <laughs> hmm. Um... What if Isabel married Lenora? Oh, but she, then she doesn't love Edgar, look. Edgar, back, get back in your box. And then... No, wait. Uh, Isabel marries Bernard, who dies in suspicious circumstances. And then she marries someone else. <laughs> I love how Edgar's like... Huh? Shira Xvid says, have you played Inscription? I love Inscription, it's great. Right, let's clear all this. I'm intrigued by trying to do it without any deaths. Okay. Um, Danilla Dragon has done a super chat saying, Hey, hope you all like this game. I love playing it, even if it was short. Got bad news about one of my pets, so I can use the distraction. Thanks. I'm sorry, sorry to hear it, Danilla. Uh, I hope you're alright. Um, lots of love, and I do hope this... Um, weddings. I do hope this, um, this stream does serve as a distraction. A useful one. Um, okay, if at the end Edgar and Lenora. We need one of these to be very upset. Aha! So, if we do Isabel and Bernard are married, then Edgar asks Isabel to wed. She says, no! And then. He finds love with Lenora. Nobody dead. Everybody married. Except for, let's switch this around so it's gayer. Um, yep. Yeah. That's better. What is this? Um, Karamas says, so this is like a sticker book telling us the story of Edgar Allan Poe being an odd chap. Pretty much, yeah. Um, Eto Perinka has done a super chat saying, popping in to say hi and drop some cash for a pint to keep your fingers crossed for, crossed for tomorrow's ER shift. Fourth in seven days. Bloody hell. Love as always. Good luck with the shift, Eto. That, uh, that sounds like a lot. Um, and yeah, I hope it goes as, as, as well as can be expected, slash hoped. Um, oof -tee. Um... Ducks piloting a mech duck has done a super chat saying hi Johnny and Alice peace hope all are well my vampire the masquerade game ended with my character taking out the Camarilla prince with napalm D&D next week with my new character Salem from Sabrina the Teenage Witch laughing my ass off is that the one with um, thingy where Salem can talk or the Netflix new one where Salem is just a cat who can't talk I say just a cat you know what I mean a, ca a cat a, a, a non-talk cat words are difficult words are difficult Aaron Paynes is on a super chat saying, Another live for me, yay! Just wanted if any more Disco Elysium in the future. Rewatched VOD recently, just a reminder, you're awesome. Pint on me. Thanks, Aaron. Looks like I'm having two pints this evening. Oh no! Um, so, last year, 
in January, I got COVID and was just in a constant state of fever dreamness. So I played uh, Disco Elysium through from start to finish and had a wonderful time. It was so weird and so intense. And then I played The Witcher 3 all the way through on my Switch as well. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to play Disco Elysium again on the channel any anytime soon, especially since I think some people found it difficult that Kuno was spitting out some really homophobic language. Um, and people were, you know, it basically just started a small argument about whether or not it was justified in a game uh, at all, yada, yada, yada. And so it made for quite a difficult stream, but I love, I love, love, love that game. So we will see. Um, Curry Omelame is on a super chat saying, gonna have, going to have this playing while working on a short campaign of Old Gods of Appalachia RPG for my group. That sounds great. That sounds very good. Um, so Mario Sini says, oh no. Oh, Kuno was censored now, I think. I think he might have been censored then, maybe? No, he wasn't, I don't think. I can't remember. But, um... But anyway. Uh, yeah, well, I hope the prep goes well, Cory Um I've not played Old Gods of Appalachia, but I am intrigued. I'm going to check it out. Uh, Kimberly Allen is on a super chat saying, Hi, lovelies. Tomorrow is my birthday, so I want to share happy vibes in hopes of manifesting a good 25th birthday. Thank you all for being wonderful people. A very, very happy birthday for tomorrow, Kimberly. Um, 25. What an age. Oh, Kuno was always censored. Oh, there you go. Thanks, nice switch. Um, what was I doing when I was 25? Where was I working? Probably GameSpot. Was it GameSpot? I don't know. I was... I was... I was I was neither 24 nor was I 26 when I was 25. That's about all I can remember of it. But I hope you have a very ma memorable 25th birthday and indeed 25th year, um, Kimberly. So yeah, lots of love and uh, many happy vibes for you um, tomorrow. For tomorrow, rather. Manifesting good times also. Words are so difficult. Words are really hard. This is why pictures are good. Uh, although I'm going to have to use my words now to um, describe the super sticker that Megan M has summoned up because it's the lemon person doing a sort of like sensual full body sort of squiggle jig like if you imagine a lemon became someone's head and they were cool with it and their entire body went the same sort of lemony yellow colour and they just shut their eyes, blushed a little bit put some music on and kind of just went hmm, 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 hmm Mm -hmm. That's the sticker we're looking at right now. Thank you so much, Megan. That is very lovely. Now let's heal a heartbreak. Lenora and Isabel got married. Then Isabel didn't kill Lenora on Ist. And then we did Reviv on Lenora. And then we did Isabel die. <laughs> no, we did... New wedding! I suppose you do have to get married again, right? If somebody died and got... You'd have to, you'd have to get... You'd have to get remarried. Because at death, the contract... The marriage contract is dissolved. CookieCat94 said, This jumped to necromancy so fast. Eh. Yeah. Seems. Seems that way. Yeah, till death do us part. There you go. So you gotta, you know what? Let's swap them round. Look, look. They're standing on other sides of the aisle now to make it feel new and interesting. There you go. Um. <laughs> Orthogonalist says till which death though? Good question. That's a fun noise. That's a not fun noise. Cool. Unlucky. All right. Everyone. <laughs> everyone rejects Edgar. Why does everyone reject Edgar? Well, I'll fucking tell you why. We don't need that many. This is why. Edgar's deadger, baby! Leonora doesn't want him. Ah! 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 Nobody want marry Edgar. There you go. They don't give a fuck. Okay. But this hasn't worked.
Hmm. Whoa, what happened? Whoa, ah, ah, I right clicked and it showed me things. Don't show me things. Oh, I get it. Oh, you just need two weddings. So we got... Aha! Right, and then Isabel kills... Marries Bernard, kills Bernard. And then Isabel marries Lenora. But before that happens, Edgar wants to marry Bernard, who says no. And then Bernard dies, leaving her free to remarry. So Edgar can't marry Lenora, and Edgar cannot marry Isabel. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> wow, fucking hell. Aimless Cryptid says, incel Edgar. Wowie. Good lord. Um, and Nicewitch says he just wants to be Edgar Allan Ho, but no one wants him. Nice one, Nicewitch. Have a tall drink of cranberry juice for that one. There you go. Kerima says, wow, if you kill two people, can you make ghosts marry? Let's find out. No. Oh, I broke the puzzle. I broke it. But I did it. Oh, for, yeah, no, I've done it. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Astrid Bone says, what if everybody dead? Good question, I don't know. Uh, Sad Boy Kenma has done a super chat saying, New people where the husband was declared dead, they found him alive and then had to declare him undead and get remarried. Undead might be the wrong term, to be honest. <laughs> It's entirely possible, sad boy Kenma. But I really enjoyed that super chat. Thank you so much. That's, <laughs> that's fucking delightful. I now declare you undead. How do you feel about it? Meh. Absolutely incredible. Uh, Ducks piloting a mech duck has done a super chat about uh, about the D and D character who is Salem from uh, Spring the Teenage Witch. Talking Salem, who uses Mage Hand to get around. Also, really been enjoying Exo Primal and looking forward to Lies of P. I've not tried Exo Primal yet. I think I might try it tomorrow evening. It depends how tomorrow goes. Um, uh, I need to do a lot. There's a lot I want to get done tomorrow, and I might have to work in the evening if I don't get it all done. But I'm, I'm intrigued. So anyway, Snood's Dog says, "I love how this game retains your success, so you can just mess around afterwards for the lols." That's good to know. All right. Surviving spouses find comfort. Uh, Neo Hamilton says, I just got here. This is a super chat. I just got here. Why are we disrespecting Edgar? Uh, because the game asked us to um, create a story called Everyone Rejects Edgar. We would, it's simply the game told us to. Umbra says, why wouldn't we disrespect Edgar? Because Poe wrote some good poems. Stories can use fewer frames. Surviving spouses find comfort. Okay. Wed, so I suppose wedding. Edgar married Lenora. Bernard married Eve. Bernard married Isabel. Death approached. Uh, Edgar was dead. And that was sad for Lenora. Then the death approached Bernard and killed him. And then wedding. Boing. Surviving spouses find comfort. Bang! Here we go. There it is. So that was grief. So there's what? Oh no, it's the stages of grief. I was like, what comes after grief? No, 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 it's the, it's... What are the seven stages of grief? Denial? I know there's denial, anger, bargaining, acceptance. Sadness is probably in there, right? What the fuck? What are the... I'm gonna... What are the stages of grief? What are 
and uh, the stages of Gurf. Five stages. Although, of course, to this. Oh. Shock, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance, and hope, processing grief. So it's denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. How could I forget depression? Hey? Genuine, like. It's like trying to name all the bits of the face and forgetting nose. Of course, depression. Of course, nose. Uh, Brandon Hart's on a super chat saying, Sadly have to have you running quiet as I'm in training right now, but this seems to be making me laugh already, even with no sound, so thank you. <laughs> Do focus on the training, Brandon. Oh, you can't hear me. You can't hear me right now. Okay. Well, I, ho I hope the training goes well. <laughs> right. Ah, Emma Benton is in chat. Good morning, Emma. How are you doing? It's nice to see you. Uh, right. Apparitions. Apparitions. <laughs> Umbrus's famous horror novel, I have no nose and I must scream. <laughs> oh, I could put a text box up in OBS. Uh, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to put. I don't want to put Brandon off the training. Okay, right here we go. Revelation. Edgar shocks himself. Edgar. Oh. Edgar has amnesia. Edgar. Sees himself in the mirror. I said. Oh, hang on. Wait. Edgar sees himself in the mirror. Edgar gets amnesia. Edgar doesn't really give a fuck about himself. Edgar sees his own death in the mirror? No. This is interesting. Edgar shocks himself. Edgar. In mirror. Edgar. Edgar sees self. Edgar doesn't give a fuck. This is interesting. Okay. Edgar dies. Edgar forgets that he's dead. Edgar sees himself in the mirror. I'm dead, he thinks. Okay, that's very funny. That was great. Edgar is Deadger. You know what's really annoying is in, in, in popped out chat, now it's got it's constantly got this little lozenge next to me so I can react to my own stream. But it cuts off some of the text. It's really annoying. Wraith Fines has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, at work. So uh, just a quick hello, then off to VOD Squad for me. Hello! Hello! Your username is still great. Edgar is Deadger. And Edgar forgot. Right. Dismay. Rejected by own spouse. Lol. Uh, so, let's see. Okay, Isabel marries Edgar. I keep basically if a spouse have to has to die, if there's someone who's going to live, it's going to be Isabel because down here she just looks like a black widow. Umbra says, "I love going to Disney World." I know, right? Rejected by her own spouse. Poor dead Edgar, and then Edgar's revived. She's going to take him back, Isabel. No! That's not what we wanted! Rejected by our own spouse. Ah! Wait! Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Once upon a time, there was Isabel and Edgar. And they were very much in love. They were married and everything. Then, Edgar, who was insured for a lot of money, died suddenly. Luckily for Isabel, she found a new spouse to heal her heart. Little did she know, however, Edgar was back alive. He was alive once more. And he came back to Isabel and said, Isabel, you do remember marriage? I just stood at an altar and thought about you for many a day. Will you marry me again? No, she said. I will not, you not be marry me. 
And then, Edgar fucking died again. <laughs> cool. That's Dismay for ya. Right. Rayauni one. Heartbroken spouses are reunited. Okay. Well, once upon a time, Edgar existed, and so did Lenora. They loved one another. Then, Edgar died. Lenora was sad. <laughs> Little did Lenora know, Edgar was brought back to life. But then, Lenora died. And Edgar was mega sad. Then, Lenora died. <laughs> then, ghost wedding. Oh, wait, Edgar's not dead. Oh wait, no, then Edgar died again. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's go through that one more time. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was Edgar, and he married Lenora, who was a woman. Then Edgar died, being mortal, and Lenora was sad about it. Little did Lenora know, Edgar was back alive again. Lenora didn't know because she was busy fucking dying. So Edgar was like, F this, I'm back in the grave. And then, ghost wedding. Ta-da! Chris Bowen says, ooh, finish the bonus objective on the first try. Oh yeah. Well, I just figured the only way to get them both heartbroken was... <coughs> for ghost wedding. <coughs> oh yeah. Paya M says, that's the end of Romeo and Juliet. Of course it is. Look at that. Oh my god, that literally is! Wow. Uh, Dice Dragon jo Joanna has done a super chat. Uh, hi, says, uh, hi Johnny, thanks for keeping me company while I'm home with my cat who is recovering from surgery. I can't help but smile whenever you're live. That's such a nice thing to say, thank you. Um, I hope your cat's doing okay. Uh, I hope they're on the good meds, and I hope they aren't in too much pain, and I hope uh, that they uh, stick close to you and you have a very nice cuddle while they are getting better. I hope... Basically, I hope things go better for the two of you in the coming days than this mess that we just made. Right. Calamity! Oh, Pietro Pisa spoilers for Romeo and Juliet. I'm sorry. Yes, that's right. Heartbreak for everyone! Okie dokie. Edgar! Oh, fuck. Once upon a time, Edgar married Lenora. And then once upon a time, Isabel was like, Lenora? And she, well, fuck, she's just angry. Uh, what if it was... Wow, shit. Isabel is, is mean. Look at this. Lenora is heartbroken by Isabel's rejection. But Isabel is just fucking angry. Wowie. They have different personalities. Okay, um, Lorna van der uh, Stieghelen, I hope I said that right, it's possible I didn't, and I'm very sorry about that, um, has done a super chat, in fact Lorna's first ever super chat, thank you very much, uh, saying love the channel, me and my husband are big fans, you always make us smile, thank you, that is very, that's very kind of you, um, I like doing this for a job, and I am especially enjoying this game, it's very funny. Uh, and also, all of the storylines so far are just kind of ever so slightly mean. I can just be quite, sort of, joyful in ruining lives. Hmm. Indeed, Keep Calm and Reload says Johnny being way too happy at making everyone heartbroken. Pretty much. Right, okay, so. Bang. Heartbroken. Lenora. Very unhappy. Isabel, happily married to Edgar. But what if... Edgar, once again, die. But then what if Edgar is Reviv? And... Oh, no. Edgar is Reviv. And then he try marry Lorna. Damn it, no! No, no, that's fixed them! How make... How break Edgar heart? How break heart Edgar? 
Interesting. Pietro P says, Johnny's saying that they uh, enjoy ruining everyone's life and then sipping from their sippy cup is a mood. Agreed. Do they have to stay heartbroken? Because what I could do is... Oh, uh, d please don't give me actual advice. Please, uh, sorry, that was, um, that was rhetorical. Uh, if I'm, if I, if I actually want to know, I will tell you that I am legitimately asking, and then I will do it in a French accent. Please, please no, please no help. Um, I wonder if they have to stay. I wonder if they have to stay heartbroken. Uh, Samara Asuni says, hey Johnny, have you delved into Blood on the Clock Tower? I have, it's a good game, I like it. <laughs> Lenore's like, oh, I fucking get revived. Uh, it's a very good game. Um, okay. Bang, bang. No, wait, hang on a minute. Make that Edgar. Oh yeah, Edgar's dead guy. Huh. Uh. Beige Boy has done a super chat saying, Quoth the Raven, how break heart, Edgar? Indeed. Hmm. 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 So Mario Asuna says, Hear me out. Oxventure plays Blood on the Clock Tower, Chaos and Choose. It would probably be... that It would be great. I agree. Okay, right. Let's talk this through, Johnny. Once upon a time, Edgar was around. And Edgar was married to Is Isabel... And then Lenora was like, Isabel, you're so fine. Can we do a wedding? She said, no, I love Edgar. And that broke poor Lenora's heart. And then Isabel... Uh, saw Edgar die, because that's just what he does. What if I do that? If I marry the women, then revive Edgar, and then... Try and remarry Edgar and Isabel. Okay, so they don't all have to stay heartbroken. Cool. So, a recap. <coughs> Edgar, Isabel, married. Were good. Nice. Uh, Lenora love Isabel. Say, want marry. Isabel say, no, I marry Edgar. Edgar die. Isabel very sad. Remarry? Lenora very happy now. Here come Edgar again. Edgar want remarry Isabel. Isabel say no. I would Lauren. La Lenora now. Everyone heartbroken, just not permanently in the story. There we go. We got there in the end. Oof, dear. Naka says Isabel is only shocked that Edgar wants to marry again as it shows she's not a very good black widow. <laughs> it's very really funny. Um... James Malcolmson has done a super chat saying, Thank you for the Obra Dinn playthroughs. Oh, I lost my ferret Cody recently, and having hours of contents take your mind off things helps a ton while you're grieving. I'm so sorry to hear about Cody. Ferrets are absolutely wonderful, wonderful creatures, but they just don't stick around for long enough. Um, my partner and I still miss the two ferrets we had. They were just absolutely delightful. Um, really wonderful animals and like so full of character. So I'm really sorry to hear about Cody. Um, and yeah, I do hope... As much as, as much as uh, death is very much part and parcel in this game, and I'm being weird. I mean, this next one's called Poison. Weirdly gleeful with it. I hope this stream brings you um, brings you comfort anyway. Uh, lots of love to you and from the rest of the um, uh, the LSPs. I'm entirely sure. Um, Luke Grace on a super chat saying, "Hey Johnny, listening to this as I uh, as I'm planning the main city of my current D and D campaign as a big Minecraft build." P.S. That was a rhetorical French accent. <laughs> uh, you're, so you're planning the main city as a big Minecraft build? That sounds fascinating. That sounds like, I mean, like, big Minecraft cities are always amazing anyway, but I honestly never thought about combining Minecraft and role-playing. That is schmet. I like the cut of your jib, Luke. Um, and I hope it all goes very, very well. Um, I hope this stream helps, although how, God only knows. Um, and Andrew H has done his super chat saying, catching the stream since working from home due to major train outage here. Super fun. Spouse would love this, so we'll watch VOD too. Okay, thanks, bye. Bye, Andrew. Okay, thanks. Um, sorry to hear about the major train outage. Um, I hope all the minor trains are, uh, <laughs> uh, are running okay. Um, 
Working from home, not the end of the world. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, all right, Poison. Lenora drinks poison. One sip on a time. There was <laughs> Lenora, <laughs> who married Edgar. <laughs> Just because I think it's funnier that way. And then Lenora loves poison. I said Lenora. Okay, all right. Once upon a time, Lenora, Lenora married poison. Once upon a time, there was poison. Once upon a time, Edgar. Le no. Ooh, is this what I think it's going to be? Once upon a time, Edgar and Bernard were married. Then, Lenora was like, Sup, Edgar? And he said, No. So Lenora, heartbroken, drank some poison. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anna says, Why won't she simply drink poison for fun? I don't know, Anna, but why won't she simply drink poison for fun is a very fun sentence to say. Why won't she simply drink poison for fun? 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 Mr. Tom for the Wind says, Wow, Lenora, overreact much? Hey, 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 it's poison. It's not necessarily deadly. She, she, that could be wine. Because technically, that's the same thing. Hmm? Sorry about it, Lenora. But it, I mean, this is all very, it's quite Shakespearean, isn't it? Ish. West Coast Weaver says it's got a skull and crossbones. Kira Cox says it has a skull on it. You've seen booze, right? You've seen the way they market it. Dead Man's Fingers is a pedestrian rum. It's got a skull on it. There's, um... Castle Main 4X that's got X's on it. That's scary. There's, uh... <laughs> Varolven says, pirate wine. Yeah. Anna says, poison that just gives her diarrhea. Exactly. James Hicks says, that sentence is fun because it's an iambic. It is. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Uh, Captain Wolfo says, he can get coffees with skulls on them. Exactly. Lucy says, oh, so it's liquid death, the water. Yeah, there you go. Alyssa says, liquid death, technically water. There you go. Ah. Neo Hamilton says, yeah, but rum skulls are pirate skull, not death skulls. That looks like a rum skull to me. It's all the same. Anyway, right. Tragedy. And this double poison. Okie dokie. And once upon a time, there was a man called Edgar. Edgar was married to Lenora. Then... Lenora died. So Edgar got married to some poison. Then Lenora was revive. And she realized Edgar was Deadgar. So she remarried to some poison. Romeo and Juliet, I just got I just got a I just got a an achievement. That's Romeo and Juliet, look. Double poison. But someone drinks poison twice. Someone drinketh poison twice. Well, that's easy. We just revive Edgar. Remind him Lenora's dead. <laughs> And make him drink poison again. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a man named Edgar. He was married to Lenora. Lenora died. Edgar got absolutely shit-faced, and for a brief time, 
forgot Lenora was dead. And then, walking to work past the graveyard, he remembered Lenora was dead. So he got shit-faced again. <laughs> I love this. This is so much fun. Timothy Thomas has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny and Alice Peace, thank you for the funny stream while I eat my Thai green curry with rice and veggies before I go back to work. What a delightfully detailed super chat. Thank you very much. And that sounds delicious. I'm not sure what to have for dinner tonight, but Thai green curry sounds amazing. Actually, my partner's away for the next few days. So the next few days, basically, after this stream, I am locking myself inside the flat. Apart from to walk the dog, I am just going to lock myself in the flat and I'm just going to write. I'm going to try and finish the first draft of this project that I've been working on for almost two years. I just want to try and get it finished. But also, my partner's away, which means that I can order a takeaway from the, uh, the curry house that my partner's not that keen on. Which means I can get a lamb tikka naga, which is just one of the most delicious curries I've ever, 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 ever had. And I'm so excited about it. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it. Tonight I'm weirdly craving just hummus and tomatoes. So I might just like chop up some tomatoes with them through some hummus and eat that with rice and some chilli sauce. I don't know. But anyway, um, long story short, once upon a time I wanted a curry. <laughs> Um, Brian Muller does send a super chat saying Johnny's laugh. I do, I yeah, I, I do find myself very funny. Uh, Aiden has done a super chat saying it's chip van night, but that means waiting until 6 p.m. Lovely chip van. <laughs> Marissa J says, and your two pints, Johnny. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, two pints. Dang. <laughs> Umbra says Johnny has remarried to curry. <laughs> Wrath. Isabel remarries. All right. I mean, we all know how this is going to go. Once upon a time, Isabel was married. And then she decided she didn't like Edgar anymore. Bam. So then she... Hmm. Isabel, how put poison in wine? Oh, it's it's fine. Isabel just Isabel loves poison. Look, she's yeah yeah. There you go. Isabel poison in one. Edgar drink. <laughs> Isabel marry Lenora. I cannot believe I called it so early on that her her spouses die of under suspicious circumstances. But also, hang on. Can we just for a moment? Can we just enjoy this animation again? Because it is so intense. <laughs> he literally, he's like, literally, he's just like, mm, it just dies. That was actually a surprising amount of water that I spat out then. Ah, oh, last time I try and do a bit. Can it, do you even see it? Oh, no, you don't even see it. Oh, well. mm. That was intense. Aiden says, is there a way to have Edgar poison his own glass? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, she won't drink it. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Isabel, no. <laughs> look at the vengeful ghost. Oh, amazing. Um, Neck of the Kitty says, you know, they used to call arsenic inheritance powder since it was used so often in murders. Blimey. Right, Isabel remarries. Wow. What happens if you swap Isabel with Lenora? Wow, she'll do it even if they're not married. She oh, it never occurs to her. Never occurs to her. Wow. Anonymous says, can you put Isabel drinking wine before the wedding to Lenora? Certainly, why not? Wine? Isabel likes wine! Hmm. There we go. 
Ah, Brandon Hart says, all right, training is finished. Now I can hear as well as see. Hello. Right. <clears throat> well, that was interesting. Envy. Isabel commits a crime. Probably. The crime of jealousy. Because Isabel says, Edgar, I wish to marry you. Then she gets very angry. And then she poisons. That's right, Edgar. <laughs> oh, but everyone meets their demise. Well, Lenora will be sad about it. Fucking hell. And Isabel. Hey! <laughs> Why is she sad about Edgar? She killed it. Oh no, she killed Lenora. Bloody hell. He's not worth it. 1579 Jennifer. This is 1579 Jennifer's first ever super chat. Saying, uh, Hi Johnny, can you shout out my brilliant sister call her Babylon on this? The day of our victory over familial anxiety. Love your streams. Absolutely. Call her Babylon. Hello. Congrats on your victory over familial anxiety. Familial anxiety is a, a word that is probably quite hard to say when drunk. I promise I'm not. Um, familial anxiety sucks, but it is a, a monster like any other, and monsters exist to be slain, and you have slain familial anxiety, along with 1579 Jennifer. Uh, congratulations to you both. A, a thousand shouts. Shouts of hooray. Out to you both. Uh, <laughs> right. Riley Marie says he is literally just a guy. Hit him with your car. <laughs> uh. Anna says she wanted to kill Leonora, but a terrible accident. Indeed. Indeed. I just figured Edgar is funny. It's just quite fun when we get to kill Edgar repeatedly. Right. Envy. Done. Beauty. Chapter 5. Curse. Emma Benton says that's a TikTok sound and I fucking love it, lol. What is? What's a TikTok sound? Curse is lifted. In the forest, there was a, a witch and Snowy who uh, cursed the, the witch cursed Snowy to be a frog. And then the witch kissed Snowy the frog. Oh no, she's no. The prince kissed. Okay. Wow, fuck fucking you, prince. Look at this. Wait, look at this shit. Right. If it's Snowy, prince won't kissy kissy. Everyone wants to kiss on the kissy kissy boat. Doesn't want to kiss a witch. Doesn't want to kiss a frog. Ooh. Meanwhile, right? Snowy, love kissy. Don't want to kiss a witch. Okay. Love kissy prince. Will kissy prince if prince is frog? No. Pre-established kissing. That's what you gotta do. What's wrong with you kids? Wait a minute. Wait. How lift curse? Curse must lift with kissing. Wait a minute. Frog's like, what the fuck is wrong with the two of you? Just kiss. Oh, I'm sorry. Too good to kiss your own kind, are you? Why not? Serenity Moon 1976 is damn prudish frogs. Yeah, he's early. No back seating. No back seat. 
Grumson says, I've kissed frogs stone cold sober just for the hell of it. Right? Exactly. Right, okay. Like, ooh, we love kissing. Wee, 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 wee. Well, what if witch make fr Look at you. Kiss the witch. Kiss the frog? No! Lucy says, oh, they need the animals sing around singing Kiss the Girl. Of course. Okay. All right. Curse is lifted. Okay. Curse is lifted for... Well, if this curse is lifted... Da -da 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 -da. Fine. Done. Okay. All right. All right. Once upon a time, there was this dude, and he, no, there's, there was this girl, right? And then a witch was like, wow, oh, then a witch was all like, you're a frog now. And then, the girl, no, the prince is made into a frog, isn't he? And then the girl was like, I'm not kissing that. And I was like, yes, you fucking are. No, look at that. And then the witch was all alone. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, that's very funny. <gasps> Look at that! Look at that! I'm a prince! Yes! She needed information. She needed information. I really enjoyed this though. You fucking witch! I'm gonna fucking kill ya! I'm a prince! I need you to kiss me! But only on a boat? Nice, we got there. Pietro P says all in caps. Consent! Yes, that's fair. HC Bird says, I don't kiss rando frogs. You're missing out! More frogs for the rest of us. Deceit. Prince saves Tiny. Who the fuck is Tiny? Tiny. All right, Prince saves Tiny. All right. Let's just do the same thing. I'm Tiny. Oh, fuck you, man. No, don't. I was hoping the prince would tell her about Tiny. All right. In the forest, there was Tiny. And she didn't, okay. She wasn't big into him. <gasps> oh, Tiny's just a hoe. That's great. Okay. Bah. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. <gasps> oh my god. Curses, curses. <laughs> It's not the solution, but it is quite funny. Don't backseat me, do not backseat me, please. Da -na 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 oh, wait, hang on a minute. The prince saves Tiny. I've got the right idea, but I've got the wrong people in here. There we go. I'm, a, I'm just a little princess. No. Yes. Right idea. Wrong people. 
There we go. James Malcolmson has done a super chat saying, have you tried out the Rogue Traitor beta? It's Baldur's Gate slash Pathfinder in the 40k universe. Quite, uh, quite a bit janky this early on, but still a lot of fun. I haven't. I should look into it. I'm going to Google it. Rogue Trader Beta. Is it open or is it closed? Beta available now. I'll give it a go. I mean, I, I need to be writing. I should be writing. I should be writing and not thinking about curry and Rogue Trader, but I'm going to have a look. Okay. <laughs> Holly Fraser says your princess is in another amphibian. Amphibian. That is hilarious. Yeah. All right. That witch is off the charts. Look at her. She's turned anyone into a frog. Competitor. Which becomes the mirror's favourite? Mirror. Oh. Ah. Oh. Cauldron. Which. <laughs> it still loves the frog? Well, okay. Then she goes back into being... Wow, that mirror is picky. Look at this. Look at this shit. If we move this panel... Nah, you're not as hot as a frog. What a dickhead mirror. Which becomes the mirror's favourite? <laughs> it's a frog contemplating a corn cordral. Cordral? Cauldron? Condral? Cauldron. Cauldron. Fuck off! <laughs> oh, poor frog. Right, which becomes the mirror's fa favourite? Why can't I talk? It's really weird. Okay. The mirror praises everyone. Okay. Let's see. Okay. The mirror praises everyone. So first, love you, Peachy. Then... Then... Haiti gets dissed. And then... Haiti pushes Peachy off a cliff. But at this point... The... Oh, okay. Okay, so at this point, the frog is not as attractive as Haiti. But then Haiti gets pushed off the cliff by a frog? Frog? No, not by a frog. The ghost of Peachy kills Haiti, and then the mirror praises the frog. There you go. There you go. Oh, look at the blush on the frog! Karima says frogs can't hate Johnny. Oh, Alright, fine. Look at the blush on the frog. Look, normal froge. Aww. It's just got complimented. Ah, the mirror praises everyone. Delightful. Inclusive. The Manor, Chapter 6. Murder! Butler's Rampage. Okay, let's see. The butler found a gun and went to the ballroom and shot the duke. Then to the ballroom and shot the duchess. Well, that worked. Here we go. Very easy, butler's rampage. Oh, look at his face! Ugh, I hate you. Oh, she doesn't like gun. Duke love gun. 
Duchess, not like gun. Butler, like gun. <laughs> wow. Look at the Duke. Ooh. 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 -oh. Right, there we go. Weapon. Uh, Bryony Peercat says, Ooh, what's the verdict on the game? I was looking at this for the st Steam sale. It's great. It's over quite quick, but it's good. Duke feels relief. Duke loves gun. Okay. Butler takes gun. Duke not has gun! Wait. Okay. So we know it's gun. Butler take gun. Butler put gun back. Got it. <laughs> it's the noise he makes. Hang on. <laughs> the Duke's so cute. I mean, he bosses his butler around and he loves gun. So, like, he shouldn't be cute, but he is. Funga pranks. Detective arrests me, did he? Gun, butler. Ballroom, Duke, butler. Butler, gun. Detective, gun. Ballroom, detective, butler. Ta da. But what if? Yeah. Okay, so that panel didn't. I was hoping he could. I was hoping he could shoot the detective as well. Not gonna lie. Karima says disappointed. No frog in detective panel. Agreed. Lucy says fun fact: one of my ancestors was shot by his valet, probably because he tried to get with the maid, the valet's wife, and send him away. He deserved it. IMO. Fucking hell, Lucy. That's intense. Right. Oh, Ma Laura B says maybe you can find the body. Oh, yeah, the detective didn't actually see the... Uh... Hmm. Oh, that's a more complete narrative, I suppose. Detective arrests murderer. Innocent. Detective arrests innocent. Oh, she won't touch the gun. <clears throat> touch. Wait. He touch gun. Butler take gun. Butler. Shoot Duchess. But Butler most recent. Okay. Butler shoot Duchess. Okay. First, butler take gun. Then, butler shoot duchess. Then, butler put gun back. Then, duke touch gun. Then, detective examine gun. Then, detective arrest duke. Bang! Mm -mm -mm -mm. Googie at 94 has done a super chat, which instantly makes me nervous. The super chat reads, Have you heard about the new film adaptation of Poe's The Telltale Heart? It's rumoured to star Benicio Del Floro. <laughs> okay, that was pretty great. That was very, very good. Snow Ninja Sandcat says, Can you put the detective in the same panel twice? No, it just swaps him around. <sighs> sneaky, sneaky butler. Of course you knew the Duke loves nothing more than to touch his favourite gun. Because look, finger prompts. Mm. Ooh. 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 Absolutely delightful. Innocence. Feed him to the Shark Tacons. 
Crown Intrigue, Chapter 7. Rivals. Four deaths. I'm just a little knight. I'm a fucking bastard baron. I'm a knight, and I'm back again. I'm the Baron. Ah, vengeance is mine. I'm the Baron. I'm back. <laughs> Fuck you. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Here we have the ghost turn. There we go. There we go. Once upon a time. <laughs> Umbra says the only way to stop a bad guy touching gun is with a good guy touching gun. Uh, ooh. Riley Marie says, what if the same person died four times laughing my ass off? I think we can probably do that. Uh, well, I don't know. Because one of these had to be a ghost in order for it to work. No, we can only do it three times. But that's still four deaths. Uh, so what was it before? Oh, mutual ghost fight. That's fun. Um, we revive the Baron. There we go. Once upon a time, there was a Baron. He did not like the knight. Shoved him off the cliff, he did. That's quite funny. Um... Shoved him off the cliff, he did. But the knight came back to life and was like, abso fucking lootly not, and shoved the baron off the cliff. But the baron came back to life and shoved the knight off the cliff. But then the knight, not having time enough to get, come back to life, just came up as a ghost and was like, up yours, dickhead. And then he died also. Four deaths. Rescue. The queen marries. Wedding. Oh, the queen loves herself. Uh, the queen is there. The queen is kidnapped by the baron. The queen cannot go to a wedding because she is The Queen likes not the bat. Oh, he's angry. Okay, well, we can work with that. Can she be strong-armed into this? Damn it, no. She doesn't care about the knight at all. Hmm. Uh, Grumson's... I'm not aware of the trigger warnings on Oxenfree, but I will look into them. Uh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm kind of fine when it comes to trigger warnings, but I will look into them just in case I think it. You know, just in case there's anything I should put at the top of the stream or what have you. Uh, thank you for the heads up. All right, the queen marries. The queen just wants to marry herself. The baron is kidnapped by the knight. Oh no, they're friends. Oh dear, sweet knight. Shaswat <laughs> Sharma says, the Bowser marriage method. <laughs> okay. The Queen marries. So at the end, we've got the Queen. The Queen's kind of cool with both of those. So it's the knight kidnapping the Baron. Or kidnapping the queen. Aha! The knight lets her down. She loves him for that. She marries him. There we go. Rescue. One of the oldest tropes in this. There we go. 
Alison Vassabar has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, sending you a Hobbit birthday gift in celebration of my 30th today. Happy 30th birthday, Alison. Welcome to, to be honest with you, the most fun decade I've I've had so far. Um, yeah, big old fan of being in my 30s. Welcome aboard. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Um, and get many lovely treats and well wishes lavished upon you because you deserve them. Thank you very much for the Hobbit birthday gift, though. I really appreciate that. I'm I'm gonna but I'm am I gonna do it tonight or am I gonna do it tomorrow? I'm gonna have a curry at some point. Lucas says, "What happens if you put the Baron in the last panel with the knight?" Let's find out. <laughs> oh, he's scared of the knight. But anyway, the Queen's got married now. Usurp usurpers usurpers usurpers. Everyone sits on the throne. The Queen sat on the throne, then the Baron pushed the Queen off the cliff and sat upon the throne. Then they went to the cliff and the Knight pushed the Baron. No, he fucking didn't. Shit. Would the Knight push the Queen? No. Everyone sits on the throne. Oh, wait, well, if we start off with the... Ah, no, no, the queen is the queen. The queen is on the throne. She's on the throne. I'm going to sneeze. There you go. Glenn Tyler says polyamory for the win. I know, so many, so many problems in this game could be solved with polyamory. Everyone sits on the throne. Would, ah, now, would the Baron kill the knight just for that? Yes, he would. What a prick. The Baron and the Queen. And then in the Baron, you sit on the throne. <gasps> no, the knight will sit on the throne. Ah, oh, the, the knight is so sad. He's so sad. And then the Baron kills... Oops. Kills him. And then the Baron sits on the throne. There you go. He's busy. He is busy. I really like how... He just looks set like... I don't have the heart to kill my Baron today. The Baron goes out and gets what he wants, you know? Anna says one thing about the Baron. He loves to kill. I know, right? Pietro P says, Why doesn't the Baron, the biggest of them all, just eat the other ones? <gasps> Neko the Kitty says, can the Ghost Queen scare the Baron off the throne? Guess we're going to find out. Yes! Oh, so actually what we could do... Is that... That's a, not as happy an ending. Well, it's, it's kind of happy-ish. There we go. There we go. That's usurpers. Now it's time for Siltor. The Queen marries. <laughs> okay. The Baron disguises himself and, while disguised, kidnaps the Queen. The Baron then removes the disguise rescues the queen and marries the queen. Or, oh my god, the queen marries a fearsome dragon, we can do it the other way round! No, no. Okay, alright. Well, in that case, let's kidnap first. A fearsome dragon, there we go. He's got to stay dressed like that for the rest of his life! I'm the Baron and I'm kidnapping the Queen. I'm the Baron and I'm dressing up like a dragon. I'm a dragon and I'm rescuing the Queen. Captain Wolfos says, all, all hail Queen monster fucker! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can she discover his deceit? Okay, no. Well, that's a point. Um, Orthogonalist says, Ooh, what happens if you undisguise after the wedding? <laughs> Shh. 
She's pissed off. There we go. Anonymous says, can the Queen kidnap the Baron? I'd like to know. I'd like to know this. No, they're cool. But, but, what I really want to know is, can the Queen dress up square? Well, we made the Queen marry a dragon, everyone. Secrets, Chapter 8. Red-handed. Or, uh, Detective Arrest Me, dearie. Butler takes gun. Detective witnesses. Oops. Ballroom. Butler shoots Duke. Detective arrests Butler. Not hard. <laughs> I see the detective. The, det the detective suspicious. That was great. So let's do it. Let's do it again. Just for shits and grins. Butler, take gun. Detective, peeping Tom. Butler, shoot Duke. Detective, arrest Butler. L. There we are. Now time for Thief! Orthogonalist says, so did the dev just hard code every possible combination? It's starting to feel like that, huh? Butler gets fired. Duke witnesses Butler touching gun. Then putting gun back. And then in the ballroom, the Duke is mad at the butler? No. Don't offer me hints. Don't offer me hints. We don't like it when you offer me hints. I'm a butler with a gun. But I'm going to put the gun back. You are fucking fired, mate. You fucking touching my fucking gun. Yeah, doesn't like that, does he? Snow Ninja Sandcat says, Johnny, just eat the gun. There we go. Revenge. Spouse gets vengeance. Okay. Uh, well, this is very simple. Butler take gun. Duchess. Peep in. Ballroom. Butler. Shoot a jerk. Butler. Put gun back. Duchess. Take gun. Duchess. Shoot Butler. Ta-da! Spussy gets a vengeance. Or we could do it the other way around. Ah! Uh, there we go. There we go. Did it both ways. Report. Duchess gets Butler arrested. Okay. Well, Butler take gun. Duchess, witness. Butler, kill. Duke. Duchess, snitches on detective. Detective, arrest Butler. Duchess gets Butler arrested, but the Duke isn't home. Duke isn't home. 
Well, the Duchess could get the butler arrested if she just dies. That's not how that works. Interesting. All right. Duchess gets butler arrested, but the Duke isn't home. Well, what if the Duchess... <laughs> Okay, the Duchess gets the butler arrested. But the Duke isn't home. But the Duke isn't home. God. Please, please just stop suggesting things. Like, please. I've asked. I've asked. Don't. Please, please don't. Just don't. I've asked enough times now. I'm going to start timing people out. Because I want to I wanna sort this out for myself. The Duchess gets the butler arrested, but the Duke isn't home. So we know that we need the detective and the butler in there at some point. The Duke isn't home. I just. I wonder what happens if the butler kills the Duchess, then puts the gun back, and then the Duchess goes near the gun. Fuck all! We know that's how that can happen. Duchess gets the butler arrested, but the Duke isn't home. She probably won't like him having the gun, right? So then what if he puts the gun back and the Duchess goes, No, I didn't like it. <laughs> Here is an example of me asking for help. It's when I say I'm literally about to ask for help and then I do it in a French accent. What the fuck? I'm struggling to get the butler arrested while the Duke is not home. Because earlier on, of course, we had uh, this. Very straightforward. But you remove the Duke, where's the crime? What if the butler now puts the gun back? That just needs both evidence and a crime. That's not a big enough crime. Have the Duchess see the gun missing and tell the detective. Oh, a gun's been stolen! That's all it is, though, right? Hmm. Dr. Moss is on a super chat saying, sorry, my, comp my suggestion was meant to be funny, not a solution. Please have a third pint as my com compensation. No! 
I, I, I could I get too drunk? Kill the Duchess after she, after she tells the detective. Oh, look at that! Martin Williams, look at you go! Oops. No. I'm the battler! No. In the ballroom, I'm the battler! That's the Duchess. The detective and a bala. Yes, there we go. The Duke isn't home. He had to know about the gun. Very well, very well good. <laughs> very well done. Martin Williams, thank you very much. And thank you very much, Dr. Moss, for the third pint. And say, so, well, I have a third pint, but not today. I'll have, so, I'll, I'll have some pints. And do not worry, I'd like... I don't even think I saw something from you that I, I thought was backseating. I th think just people were starting to creep in on it a little bit. Uh, Smug Borgen has done a super chat saying, back to the start I go, but just to say, this is a super chat, um, back to the start I go, but just to say it's always a joy to have you and the LSPs out to work on a Thursday, as it's always a busy and stressful day. Oh, I'm sorry, that sucks. But hopefully your Friday will be nice and relaxed and chilled. Fingers crossed. Um... Karima says, so the detective is like, gun theft? No thanks, I'm strictly homicide only. Seems that way, doesn't it? Right. Shall we have a five minute break before we go on to chapter nine, Justice? Let's do it. Uh, Manus Noble says, this looks rather lovely. What is it? This is Storyteller. It's a lovely game where you have to piece together stories uh, based on prompts using some sort of like pre... There you go. Storyteller. Using some uh, some pre-chosen elements like places and people and objects and stuff. Um, so yeah. But anyway, let's have a five minute break because um, I could do with some water, I think. Well, I've got some water. I'm going to top this up. Um, and uh, yeah, what, like when was the last time you got up and had a stretch? Maybe you want to do that. Uh, are you hydrated enough today? Are you too warm? Are you too cold? Do you need a snack? Do you, you know, basically, is there something you need to do that you can get done in the next five minutes? Uh, go do it, and then we'll come back and we'll play more Storyteller, because I am having fun with this game. If you're not going anywhere, here's a picture of my dog and some smooth jazz to keep you company. See you in five.
Hello everyone, welcome back to this stream on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. That's me, I'm Johnny Chiodini. Hello. Let us um, return to Storyteller, shall we? Yes, let's. How was your break? I had a couple of crisps and refilled my water. <clears throat> Adam Ellis says, hey Johnny, you should check out some games called The Book Walker and Circus Electrique. The Book Walker. The Book Walker, Thief of Tales. It's a narrative adventure in which you play as Etienne Quist, a writer turned thief with the ability to dive into books. That sounds like fun. Cool. I could give that a go. Uh, right. How about a little bit of treason? Usurper dies. Well, this sounds pretty straightforward, if you ask me. Ah, I'm the Baron, and I'm kidnapping the Queen, and I'm sitting on the throne, because I am a fucking dick. Whoops. <laughs> Look at the Queen up there. I'm the Baron, and I'm an asshole. Oh, no, that's not what we wanted at all. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Of course, I forgot. You can get the queen down. And then... The queen... will execute the bat. Hmm. Hmm. The queen gets back on the thro- oh. Where's my fucking crown, mate? There we go. Queen gets back on the throne. The queen executes the baron. There we go. See the little thumb thing there? Does she execute the knight? No, the knight's cool. We cool knight. You get to live. The baron? Fuck off. Dead. There we go. We got there in the end. I love the knight. Look at his little face there. So determined. Danny Shields is on Super Chat saying, just wanted to say thank you. This has been a lovely distraction. I brought Kobe back from the crematorium. That cravat. I brought Kobe back from the crematorium a week ago and haven't been doing great. Keep expecting to hear his little nails clacking across the floor. Oh God, it's, yeah, that noise. You do miss it. It's like it's yeah. It's a wonderful little sound. I'm sorry, but I'm really glad that the stream has proven to be a good distraction. And like like I said, I'm really glad that you got to spend time with with Kobe and like yeah, you made memories together. Wait, Usurper dies by the hand of the knight. By the hand of the knight. By the hand of the knight. How does that happen? Let's see now. Usurper dies by the hand of the knight. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't ascend to the throne. Oh, hang on a minute. If the Baron were to simply execute the Queen... <laughs> then the, the Knight will take the throne... And the Knight can execute the Baron! There we go! That's less cheerful, isn't it? Christ alive! Look at that! Once upon a time, there was a baron. 
The Baron kidnapped the Queen and wore her hat, and then chopped her head off so that it would never wear a hat again. The Knight was not happy about this, and stuck the Baron up in a cage, pausing only to put a hat on before cutting the Baron's head off so he could never wear a hat again. The end! Um, Happy Bob is on a super chat saying somehow spent less at the cinema than expected. Have some of my leftover money. Thanks to you and the LSPs for just generally being awesome. It's been a rough week and you fine folk always help. Um, I'm sorry to hear it's been a rough week, Happy Bob, but I'm I'm glad that we are of use. And um, congrats on the, the thrifty cinema trip. I hope you really enjoyed whatever it was you saw. Um, I haven't been to the cinema in a while. Um, I really like going. Every time I go to the cinema, I'm like, I should do this all the time. And then I don't. It's really annoying. Right. Chris Bowen says, seriously, what is with the with the authority systems based solely on the wearing of a particular hat? Well, the thing about the hat is, Chris, if there's only one of the hat, then it's easy to tell who's in charge, because they're wearing it. There you go. Knight loses his head. All right. This is interesting. Once, there was a queen... Ah, once there was a queen who died, the knight was very sad, and then the knight sat on the throne. That is not good. It's, well, it's okay, but then the queen came back to life and was oh. angry. So she... Hmm. We don't need this one. Queen came back to life, was angry. Damn it, fucking. Okay, once there was a queen who died, and there was a sad knight who put her hat on. Little did he know, the queen had come back to life. She was pissed off at the knight and stuck him in a cage. Put her hat on, and then, say it with me everyone, executed him so his head could never wear a hat again. That is a raw deal for the knight. I'm very sad about the queen. I shall do my duty and become the king. What the fuck is all this? Dead. Brilliant. Although Nicewitch says sad knights shouldn't be wondering about putting dead people's hats on IMO. Yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then Nicewitch says, girl boss. <laughs> Unforgiven. Now it's time for amnesia. The execution. Wedding, kidnap, execute, and amnesia. Once there was a queen who forgot she was the queen. She married herself. Once there was a queen who liked a baron. Silly. Once there was a ha. Once there was a baron who cut not the queen. And then immediately forgot about kidnapping the queen. So he let the queen down. And the queen, say it with me, cut his head off so he could never wear a hat again. <gasps> the execution of the queen or of the baron? Well... All right, the execution of the Baron it is. You know, execution of the Queen it is. Okay, now they're married. That's good. Well, he just... Yeah, he'll just straight up have the queen executed if he wants to, because he's the baron, why not? Well, he's the king now. 
<coughs> Alalora says, catching up on mechanics, finally get to join a live stream during lunch. Hello! Uh, does each story have a secondary objective or is it random? No, uh, not all of them have a secondary objective. Some of them do. Some of them have two. There we go. We've had the Baron executed and the Queen executed. Misfortune! Queen suffers four tragedies. Once there was a queen who was kidnapped. That's tragic. But then she was saved. No, that's not going to do it because she's going to like him too much. The Queen suffers four tragedies. Okay. Bloody hell, Seb Heaven has done a massive super chat. Um, thank you very much, Seb. That's really, really generous of you. Um, the Super Chat reads, I never get to catch Let's Plays live. You've entertained me more over the years than all the streaming services combined. Oh, my God. Here is the Super Chat that reflects this. Can't wait for silly Western fun soon. Thanks for all you do. Seb, that is absolutely delightful. Thank you so much. That really means an awful lot. Especially since there are lots of streaming services out there. Um, um, uh, yeah, Deadlands is coming next Friday. The first episode is going out. And it's a doozy. Um, Andy's put in so much work in prepping, like, when you watch it, I want you to bear in mind that it is the first thing Andy's ever run. It's his first time ever running a tabletop RPG, and then just look how he goes. Like, he does absolutely brilliantly. Um, and, like, I wouldn't say anyone's going easy on him. Like, he's getting thrown quite a, quite a lot of stuff by the characters. And he just takes it in his stride, and it's great fun. Everyone's having a lot of fun with their characters. Uh, I can't wait for you to meet Nate, who's my character. Um, it's going to be great, great fun. Um, I can't wait for you all to see it. How many episodes have been filmed now? I think six have been filmed so far. It's just, it's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. Anyway, the Queen has to suffer four tragedies. There was a Queen once who got oops, kidnapped by the Baron. That's bad. But then the Knight let her down. But then the Baron. Fuck. Hmm. Hmm. Kidnap, throne, wedding, and execute. Four tragedies. Okay, so being executed is definitely a tragedy. So we'll do have that. <laughs> Why you not have... Oh, because you need to go on the throne first. It's implied. One. <laughs> Two, if she's being kidnapped. We could do... If she married the knight and then he got executed? Okay, that's right. Getting kidnapped and getting executed. Pretty fucking tragic. Having a knight get executed. Whom she liketh. Also bad. Shits and grins. 
how does a wedding come into this? Not tragic enough. Kidnap wedding? No. Can you execute a ghost? Can you execute her a second <coughs> star? No. Wow, 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 wow. The Queen suffers four tragedies. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm open to suggestions. Cause I'm fucking confused. I'm not that confused. Alright, I'll tell you what, we'll do this, right? Right, we'll do what we'll, we'll do me out. And then the knight lets her back down. Right. Right, 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 right. So then she marries the knight. But then the Baron <laughs> kidnaps her again and then executes the baron oh the throne have her marry the knight and get him killed says Atta Prinka. yeah that's kind of oh wait hang on a minute yeah the baron no the baron needs to go on the throne so then if the baron execute Oh, I shouldn't let the queen down. No, the queen needs to go back up. Fuck! Queen, go back up. Re-kidnap. And then the baron. Oh, no, because no, he's a king. Fuck. James Hicks says, Crown Baron second. Right, hang on. Thrun. Baron. <laughs> and then they have a wedding. Aha! Kidnap. Marriage isn't. That's only three. Cater Tots, this is what I, would think, what I was thinking. Kidnap, Baron Kinged, save Queen, married, then double execution. <laughs> is that four? Oh, look. Oh, that's cute. The Queen's not in there. That will make her sad. Oh, that is four. How is that four? Oh, she's not in that, but it is a tragedy. Kidnapped, usurped. Husband executed, her executed. Got it. Yes, there we go. Kidnap, lose, throne, death one, death two. That is tragic. Sorry about it, the queen. Yikes. Misfortune. The king. Chapter 10. Noxious. Cyclic, mutually toxic love affair. All right. The queen. The king was in love with the queen. But then they had a fight. But then the king forgot about it. And the queen forgot about it. And they fell in love. And then they had a fight. That's cheerful, isn't it? There it is. Cyclic, mutually toxic love affair. Really is the <laughs> nice which says, oh, I love love. <laughs> All right. Double execution. The king. Had an affair with the maid. Was a queen. Was watching. The queen 
Ad the Mad executed, and then the King executed. Double execution where the King takes revenge. Well then, King go. Oh, that's quite cute. Uh. Aha. Oh, no, wait, I got this. Um, yeah, so the king's still diddling the maid, and the queen's pissed off about it. But in this one, the king is like, fuck you. There we go. Kaz says, ha, look at the king's face in the bush. Yeah, the king in the bush is quite cute. What if the maid goes in there? Oh, it's a poor maid. It's all right, you can swap. <laughs> there we go. Other note says the king's just ready to kill at all times. Yeah, pretty much. Nice switch says a king in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> Rags to royalty. Once upon a time, there was a wedding. The king was married to the queen. But then the king had an affair with the maid. Then the maid got her ideas above her st station. Then the king had his wife. AWM Perry says a king in the bush is what started all this trouble. <laughs> the queen and the maid did not want to fuck. Okay. All right. Rags to royalty. The maid has to marry the king. We know that much. Maid. King. What I love, my queen. Okay. Ah ha ha Once upon a time, there was a queen. Did not like the maid. Why didn't she not like the maid? I've forgotten to put this bit in. There was a queen. She was pissed off. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a king who married a queen. The king was diddling the maid. The queen saw this and was very pissed off. She kidnapped the maid. The king went to the garden for a bit. <laughs> and thought about some stuff. No. The king found the maid and got told who done it. He got pissed off and so the king went to his special chopping room and had the queen killed. And then married the maid. There we go. And that's how you do a ragato royalty. Phoebes says, uh, Howdy Johnny, do you think you'll play a Plague Tale Requiem on Preston Kid? And he really enjoyed your playthrough of the first game, and the second is truly incredible. Would love to see it, thanks. Probably, yeah. I, obviously, I'm beholden to the votes of the viewers, but I will put it in rotation soon. Because sometimes I keep a game out for a bit, because I want people to have a chance to complete it, and I don't want to do two games that are like too similar, too close to one another. But uh, yeah, I think it's probably about time. Machiavelli. Baron rules alone. All right. Once upon a time, there was a king. Well, hang on. Mm. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. There was a king and a queen. The Baron to the Queen. No worry, says the King. I'll marry my maid. Good idea, says the Baron. What if I kill the King and I marry the maid and then I shove my wife off of the cliff? The Baron rules alone. Can't have a spouse if everyone's dead. Wah, wah, wah. 
Baron rules a lot. Semantic poetry says, Now I want Johnny to describe the stories in the Russell Crowe Italian priest voice. You're going to have to talk to my boss. He's at the Pope. Let's do this. Monsters, chapter 11. Alex Campbell's on a super chat saying, Off to the beginning because I was saving this for a treat after doing a job application. All submitted now, though. Wish me luck with it, pals. Good luck, Alex Campbell. I hope it goes very, very well. Um, and enjoy your treat. Here it is. Yum, yum, yum. It's a couple of hours of absolute nonsense from me. Right. Monsters. Chapter 11. Werewolf. A burner drinks the poison. Once upon a time, there was a Bernard. He loved a Julie. But the moon didn't have a different idea for the Bernard. The moon turned Bernard into a werewolf. It's the kind of thing my boss is telling me about all the time. He's at the pub. And then Julia was in the forest, hoping she was going to get another little kiss off of Bernard. But Bernard, because of the moon, you remember, had different ideas. <laughs> Bernard ate of the Julia. And then Bernard turned back into a man. He's a however as a fact. Hung over as fuck. Look at the Bernard. Bernard, go back to the forest. Where's the Juliet? Ah, oh, fuck. I only find half of my, 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 my Juliet. So I'm gonna go drink at the poison. You have to talk to my boss. He's a bottle of poison. Well, and my boss is at the moon. But also my new boss is, um, a bottle of poison. I don't know what it says. Among Us Bone Loaf! <laughs> oh god, Among Us. Do you remember when that took over all of our brains for quite a long time? Right, sorry about it, Bernard. Monsters, dragon. Queen gets the Baron arrested. Okay, okay. Once upon a time, there was a queen. <laughs> and she. There was a queen, I said. She not like the Baron. Once upon a time, there was a Baron. He was dressed like a fucking um, dragon. The Queen not enjoyed this one bit. The Queen got tell the detective. The detective. <sighs> The detective. The Baron take her off of the costume. The detective discovered the costume. The detective have the Baron a fucking nicked. There you go. Happy Bob says you and Aoife were terrifying with the voices in Among Us Hide and Seek. <laughs> I remember, yeah, we did one with a guest. It was Ella Silly Wood. And I just remember at the end of a round, she just went, Jesus. <laughs> uh. And that's how the Queen got the Baron arrested. Okay. This one is a big of my, my boss of the pop. He deal with this one all of the time. He's a vampire. Cure the vampire prismem. I've seen this one, unfortunately, so I know what to do. It is a night time. Dragulia is out in the night time. He bite the mean harker and turn her into a vampire, which doesn't, well, it kind of happens in the book, but she doesn't, it's, it, 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 you know what, it's not, not Russell Crowe saying my boss are pop. We're just gonna, we're gonna run with it. Dragulia bite de Mina. He does bite Mina, but she doesn't actually turn fully into a vampire. Spoilers. Lucy turns fully into a vampire. Well, I suppose. Oh, and so actually, no, this is bang on because she's cured of. She's cured of it because she gets a big old um, mark on her head. Because <laughs> Van Helsing's like, this will make you feel better. Here's here's some of the 
the uh, here's some of the body of Christ. Hiss, and she's like, unclean, unclean, and gets just a big mark on her forehead. And then they kill Dracula, and then she's fine. So this is actually fine. Shut up, Johnny. It's all fine. No, John, no. Uh. Oh yeah, that's right. In a decrypt, is a demeanor. John said, oh fuck. Uh, this Amina, she's um, a lovely woman. What happens if he's just a knight and he's just Amina and the John? Oh, this scared, okay. Alright, we, we take this away. Okay. James Hicks is on a super chat saying, work from home now, got family responsibilities now, watch rest later. Thanks for the free shout outs. You're very, very welcome, James Hicks. Um, lots of love to you. Uh, enjoy watching the rest of this later. And I hope the family responsibilities are okay. We go see at the professor. Listen, mate. It's a fucking Amina. She, uh, she, she all bad. And the professor, he say, you take this. It's a big fucking mistake. You stick it in to the Dracula. But the problem with the, the John is, he's a hard of the hearing. So he fucking mistakes Amina. Then he's very sad. <laughs> No, I'm just a kidding. He's taken the Dracula. And then Mina, she's fine. Ta-da! He's fucking Mina. <clears throat> and then the professor's all like, What's up, Mina? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant! <laughs> Big fan of that. Let's do it again. <laughs> and then Dracula got fucking staked, and then he went on the tour. <laughs> he went on the tour to see the Mina. Went on the tour to see the Dracula. He just went on the big fucking tour. Right, Professor! Monster is slain. Once upon a the time, there was a uh, the <laughs> Bernard. Uh, he was a fucking, uh, you know. And then, uh, no, then, then uh, no, the Baron, uh, the Macadre, and then uh, the Bernard, and the fucking, uh, yeah, fuck off. Uh, and the uh, Baron. Ah, no. All right, hang on. Hang on, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. The Professor. That has, has, hasn't got shit to say. And if Bernard... Can the Baron turn into a... No, the Baron likes the move. Alright. Monster is a, is a slime. Huh? Bernard is a fucking a werewolf. Wait. The Baron... Goes to the forest, sees the fucking Bernard. Right? He lives to tell her the tale. He take her off of the disguise. He goes to fucking see the professor. <laughs> professor says he's a gun. So the Bernard is there, and the Baron shoot him to death. Boong. <laughs> Werewolf dies, dragon dies. Well, that's easy. It's not so hard at all. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a moon. And then this fucking guy gets a big uh, outfit on and scares the shit out of um, uh, the uh, Bernard. Bernard goes see the professor. The professor say he's a gat. I tell you what, tell you what, we can shorten this one. So the Bernard, he shoots uh, the dragon, and then uh, the Bernard he turns into a werewolf, and he's a fucking the professor. <laughs> uh, the end. Matthew K has done a super chat saying, "Whatever we call this mood during today, I like it. I don't know what this mood is. I really, really, really don't." But uh, there we go. We're having a bit of fun with it. Wow. Excuse me, Jesus Christ. 
Drama, Chapter 12. Oedipus! Well, didn't expect this one. Haiti murders father and marries mother. Once upon a time, Tiny and Peachy were in love. Haiti, uh, uh, Tiny, was uh, Haiti's father. So Haiti pushed Tiny off a cliff. What? I said. What? Uh, what? Oh no, Haiti. There's Haiti. Haiti. So anyway, Peachy was married to um, uh, Tiny. Haiti wanna marry the Peachy? She said no. He get to piece it off. Tiny killed the Haiti. Wait, no, Haiti killed the Tiny. Peachy's so sad. Oops. So she married the kid, and then it's time for Haiti to poke out his own fucking eyes. Hey! I'm not sure. I'm not sure I've ever gone way at the story of Oedipus before, but. There it is. Oopsie doopsie. Tiny avenges his brother. All right. Once upon a time, there was a Haiti who hated Greeny. So. Haiti killed Greeny. Then there was a seance where Tiny found out about Greeny and Tiny killed or didn't. Why you not kill his family? Wait a minute. No. Hmm. Pietro P says Oedipus didn't know that the man who he killed was his father. Ah, oh, whoopsie. Oh well. Okay. Tiny avenges his brother. Ah, uh, hang on. Haiti was Greeny's father. Haiti was also Tiny's father. But then, Haiti and Greeny had a fight. And that was enough for Haiti to push his son off a cliff. But then, during a seance, Tiny realized that his dad was a fucking asshole. And so, Tiny did the right thing and killed his dad. <laughs> Jareth has done a super chat saying, This game looks absolutely bonkers and I'm here for it. Which is neat, because I never get to be here for things. Welcome aboard, Jareth. Um, uh, yeah, I think I saw you post earlier that you... Excuse me, you rarely get to catch a live... A live stream, and oh, have you picked an interesting one? Because um, this game is bananas, and it's sending me absolutely loopy for some reason. So there we go. Right, Peachy didn't even figure in that one. Salome, is it? Haiti is murdered by his daughter. Well, first of all. I'm your father. Peachy loves 
tiny. And Haiti is fine about that. Haiti, Haiti just sort of hates people. No. Hmm. Hmm. Happy Bob says I must away due to it being two forty-six a.m. here, and I apparently need sleep. Absolutely. We'll be back for VOD. Thanks for the good times with this game so far. Uh, Johnny, you're awesome. So be the LSPs. Sleep well, Happy Bob. Thanks for being here. Um, and yeah, go catch some of those Zs. It's late. Or early, really. Um, talking of sleep, Rainer Kane says, Am I the only one who finds this soothing enough to almost fall asleep? Not boring at all, just the music together with the cute art is really cosy, even with all the murder. No, I, I totally get you. People routinely fall asleep to my streams anyway, which I actually genuinely take as a compliment most of the time. All of the time, really. Um... So, uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't even worry about it. Wouldn't even worry about it. Um, James Hicks has done another super chat saying, Prepping dinner while wife preps lessons for her work tomorrow. Looks like I'm back. Huzzah! Huzzah indeed! Welcome back, James. We're trying to get Haiti murdered by his daughter. Oh, no, she just sighed. She's just a sighed. Hmm. Zega Genesis is done a super chat saying, I hate circles. They're just pointless. Can't blame you. All right, I'm going to try, I'm going to crack this. Please no suggestions, please no backseaty. Just as a reminder. Okay, Haiti is murdered by his daughter. Ah, wait, wait a minute. If Haiti sees Tiny and Peachy together, then he'll enjoy that. But if Haiti sees Tiny and Greeny together, He'll be upset about that. So then, if you put Haiti on a cliff with Tiny, he'll kill Tiny. But then if you seance Tiny with Peachy, she'll be outraged and she will murder her dad. There we go. But he was just protecting her. Oh, I accidentally got the secret thing. In one go. Hmm. Orthogonalist has done a super chat saying, Witches and curses. Murderers and revivals. Where are the ghost frogs? Yeah, there aren't enough... You know what? You're right. There aren't enough frogs in this game. There were frogs earlier. We could do with a few more. That was a lovely haiku. Thank you very much, Orthogonalist. Um... Oh, excuse me. Oh, no. Yawning. Oh, God. Sainted Karma's done a super chat saying, In the monster chapter's last story, would Bernard have been able to kill the professor, then find the remains? I love this weird game. Oh, let's find out. Let's find out. I'm up for having a look at that, Professor. So, once upon a time, the. Wow, fucking hell. Yes. <laughs> once upon a time, there was a moon, and there was um, a Bernard became a the fucking old werewolf. He ate... Oh, he went and ate the professor. And just for shits and grins, yeah, he also ate the, the Baron. And then... <laughs> the Baron's body's just there! And then, Werner went back to the normal. Then he went forest. And he was like, fucking the hell. And then he went to see the professor. And he said, fucking the hell. There you go. There you go. So, yes. Now, Godo, Tiny, and... 
That is fucking hilarious. They're waiting for Godot. Game of the year. Both leave and return. <laughs> that was great. That was very, 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 very funny. Big fan of that. Very, very good. Novels. Final chapter. Mad husband. Edgar murders his wife. Once, there was an Edgar and a Lenora. They loved each other very much. No, wait. Once there was an Isabel and an Edgar. And then Isabel, well, was just a spiteful little fuck. No, okay. Edgar murders his wife. So his wife has to do something horrible. Ah, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a man named Edgar. He married a woman called Lenore. Uh, and he very much loved her. So much so, in fact, that after the wedding, when she'd left, he stood there, just thinking about her. Then Isabel turned up and was like, hey Edgar, Let's have sex. Or get married, I guess. And he said, no, I love Lenore. Which made... Which made Isabel very very angry. So she got some poison! And put it in... To her hand. <laughs> her plan was... For Lenora to drink it. Sure enough, she did. And then Edgar, who was all sad and such... Had a seance with Lenora. Who... No, not yet. And then Edgar, who was all sad and such, and just standing in the in the in the chapel thinking about his dead wife, remarried. Hooray! And then Edgar was like, you know what? It's been a busy week. I got married, my wife died, and I remarried. Why don't I unwind with a nice little seance? Then he got all mad and he put some poison into Isabel. Zwine. There you go. Rob Devil says, have you played Bramble yet? It's on Game Pass and it's bloody brilliant. Don't think I have. Bramble. Game Pass. I haven't had much time to uh, Bramble the Mountain King. Uh, I haven't had much time to play games recently, it feels like. Or paint. I've been crocheting. That's been fun. But uh, that's about it. This content is locked. Shush. I was born on the 2nd of March in... 1913. Sure. Oh, this looks nice. Why is why was that age gated? Oh, that looks very nice. I'll check that out. Nice, thank you. Dum 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 dum. This is the Jonathan Creek theme. Aimless Cryptus says the Jonathan Creek music is Dance Macabre and this is like a legally distinct version. Oh, okay, fine. Thank you, everyone, for saying that I look good for my age, having been born in 1913. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Um, Mini Hamlet. Tiny murders uncle to avenge his father. All right. Once upon a time. Tiny murders uncle to avenge his father. Once upon a time, there was a height. No. Once upon a time, a bluey was a tiny's dad. <laughs> and then, uh, Haiti killed a bluey because he's a fucking. No. Nope. Oh, that's right. We should probably have this one first. Mm. 
to... I'm doing a funny joke here, look. It's quite funny. Uh, murder's uncle to avenge his father. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. The joke I was doing was that I've, I made that the last panel because um, Hamlet does fuck all for ages. That was the joke. But uh, I haven't got this right yet. So, okay. haven't established is the uncled bit. Uncle bit. Because family is just parent. I'm genuinely going to ask. What am I missing gear? What is a wrong? Oops. Anonymous says granddad. You have to create... Oh, yeah, I know I have to... I know I have to create an uncle. Oh, I need... Right, it's okay, sorry, hang on. I've got it now, I've got it now. Greeny is Bluey's dad. Greeny is also Haiti's dad. Here we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Got it now, thank you. Haiti wants to marry Peachy, but can't. So, Haiti kills Bluey, and then there's a seance between Tiny and Bluey, which then leads to Tiny. We've missed one. Uh, Bluey, of course, is Tiny's dad. Done. Forgot about establishing the um, uncle bit. This family, do, the chat's not great, is it? I am your father. I am your father. I am your father. Like, say something else, everyone. Like, they probably know. How was your day? Mm -mm. I am your father. Okay. Right. Nice, which says video games are great, aren't they? Yeah. Duke shoots detective to avoid prison. Okay. Once upon a time. Oops. Once upon a time, does the Duke have a gun? He loves gun. <laughs> King not like gun. Duchess not like gun. Good luck or a quick death has dropped a super chat. And there is no message attached to the super chat. I think the Duke needs a motive. Yes, there we go. Um, thank you very much for the super chat. Good luck or a quick death. Good luck or a quick death tends not to um, to um, um, uh, put ah, ah, to put any messages on the super chat. 
The strong silent type. The Duke has killed the king. And then now the Duke will shoot the de Duke shoots detective to avoid prison. <laughs> Amy Dentata says Duke marries Gun. Gun has an affair with King. <laughs> Very good. Um, could we get 94? Oh no. Oh no. I haven't read it yet, but I could just tell. Cookie Cat 94 has done a super chat. It reads There was going to be an all goose production of Hamlet. Unfortunately, it never took off. As test audiences remarked, it was quite the foul play. Well, that happened, didn't it? Duchess tells the detective. Just shoot him! You've got a gun! Interesting. Okay. Okay, all right. Duke shoots detective to avoid prison. I wonder what happens if we put the king in there. No, the Duke's fine with that. I love the little grumpy Duke. Okay. Don't tell me yet. I will ask when I want to know. The Duke shoots the detective to avoid prison. Gun. No, but... Oh, he just loves his gun, look. Duke goes back there and is aware that the detective knows. So he gets the drop on the detective and shoots him dead. Yes! There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice Rich says, remember when we were just killing Edgar? Seems so simple back then. I know, right? Jeez. Axea has done a super chat saying, Johnny, thank you for all the positivity you bring to this world. Gonna vanish back to catch up on VOD Squad. Peace, love, and hellfire to your enemies. Hell yeah. <laughs> no one's ever said that to me before. That's great. Thanks, Axea. Um, thank you very much for the super chat and for the kind words. Um, it's nice to feel like uh, people enjoy what I do. Right, it's time for a love revolution. Night and maid, murder the monarchs and have an affair. Fucking hell. But what happens if the king is kissing the maid? He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. What if the maid saw the same thing? And what if that led to... Oh, grow a pair.
Oh, for fuck's sake! Grow a pair, the knight! Yeah, that's more like it! <laughs> so we know at the end it has to be knight and maid. He's still heartbroken and she still loves their queen. AWM Perry says, I was wondering if he had to get another gun having fired the flintlock's only shot. Well, he had enough time to nip back round behind a painting. Probably had time to reload. Okay, we're, get, we're getting there. Knight and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. So Brink has done another super chat saying, by killing, you bring positivity to us. Thanks. You're welcome. I promise only to kill within the confines of video games. Okay. They like each other. She won't fuck him. Aaron Shaw has done a super chat saying, Me starting VOD. Let's watch Johnny play another game that I'll definitely buy. Wife, 20 seconds later when seeing the game. Oh my god, we're getting it. Yes! It's really good in fairness. Tom Warren says, yeah, this knight is such a coward for not committing regicide for no reason. It's regicide, Tom. There's always a reason. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> yeah, yeah, they're quite unhappy about that. Oh, the king is heartbroken. He doesn't give a fuck. <gasps> Sorry, I'm the queen. Would the queen kill the king? Yes. Okay, so the, but they haven't murdered the monarchs to do it. They are in love now. Okay. Let's start from the top. The, the king and the maid are having an affair. The queen sees this and is unhappy. Putting the made up in the thing. That's bad, isn't it? But the knight gets her down and the maid tells her who'd done it. It was the king. So the maid kills the queen. Halfway there. Now, we know for a fact that the knight is heartbroken but she loves the king. So... What if the maid saw the king... Being terrified by the quit now. <laughs> hmm. Simply Dave MN has done a super chat saying, Been playing Death Road to Canada today. Might be a bit fast paced for a stream, but it's on sale and it might be a good time. Just a suggestion. Interesting. So many recommendations today. Death Road to Canada. Randomly generated road trip simulator. Oh, that looks intense. Oh, that looks very intense. Oh, Zumbles. There's a dog. There's a dog with a knife. There's a dog with a shotgun. I... Interesting. <laughs> I'll have a look at that. Uh, Alexander Hansen has done a super chat saying, Donation for Johnny's Legal Defence Fund. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Um... Okay. We need to make somebody hate the king. Just both so sad. Would the king kidnap the maid? No, he likes the maid. Would the king kidnap the knight? No, he likes the knight. They're just a couple of sad guys on a cliff. Okay. What 
if we did it that way around? She still loves the king that way. He likes the maid too much. How can we make the knight kill the king? That's what I would like to know. Or the maid. Wow, well, that's that's indirect though. She mm. Let's do that. Umbra says, two guys chilling on the cliff if five feet of butt, because they are sad. Um, you don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. Oh, but wait. No, but she loves the king. Now he's sad. He still won't do it. Paul is abstract says I saw secret sleepover societies stream of this game and they introduced me to the word they used the word cliff as a verb. <laughs> okay. What can the king do that will make What if King kidnap? They just like each other. Oh. I'm gonna say I'm a little bit stuck. Do you have a hint for me? I don't get it. I'm a little bit confused. Glenn Tyler says night watching as the queen has an affair with the maid. The queen won't, um. The queen won't uh, kiss the maid. Maid get shit done, get her to kill the king. Okay, so the maid's gonna kill the king. Does the maid need to see the king and the queen have an affair? Well, that just makes her sad. Right? Oh no, she pissed off. She pissed off enough to kill the queen. Oh, what if the knight and the maid meet first, says Chris Butler. Of course, I stuck that right at the beginning, didn't I? No. No. your king! <laughs> okay, this is hard. 
Knight has to see king and queen first. Oh, first. Knight has to see the king and the queen first. Ah, he's so sad. Oh, this is... Oh, my brain. Okay. Knight needs an affair with the queen's ghost. Goodness. Sean Patrick's done a super chat saying, I have arrived precisely when my work schedule allows for. I'm defending my masters on... Uh, on music therapy later today, I wanted to thank you for fostering the community of support around man around mental health as you have. Um, thank you so much, Sean. That's really, really lovely. And good luck. I hope the defence goes absolutely brilliantly and that you have a treat lined up for yourself afterwards, because... Woo! J. Appleseed says, if the king saves the maid, then puts the queen in jail for the knight to rescue... I feel like I need one more thing here. The knight will kill the king. So do we need this one? I don't think we do. I think we've got it. Hey! Phew! Thank you very much, J. Appleseed. <laughs> Good. Okay, so, once upon a time, there was a king who was diddling the maid. The queen saw this. Unhappy with the maid, she put the maid up in a big old cage. The king discovered the maid up in the cage and was like, what gives? The maid said, twas the queen, my lord. The king put the queen up in the cage to see how she fucking liked it. The knight brought the queen back down and she said, twas the king what done it. And he said, what the shit? So he killed the king. The maid, meanwhile, got her revenge on the queen, and then they banged. In the same clearing where this whole sordid mess began. The end. The ceremony! The ceremony! Tis time for the ceremony! There's a crown on my bonce. The end. Epilogue. Marvellous. Throughout these pages you created tales of love, ambition, intrigue and vengeance. You have proven yourself worthy of the crown and the title of storyteller. Now it is time to close this book, ponder about the possibilities of the future and go fill pages of your own story. The end. Oh, that's cute, look. Oops. Oh, no, the credits, the credits. Library of Babel. That's fun. That was great fun. It's really lovely. Um, well, I need a Wii, but then let's play some Dave the Diver. Why not? Why not? Wooden Coyote says, now that you have the fancy hat, who are you executing first? The, uh, the student who's really rude in Dave the Diver. That was absolutely fantastic. Right, um, I'm just going to mute my mic, because I'm, I'm only going to go pee. It won't take me long. Uh... Uh, and then let's play some, um... Doo -boo -doo -boo -doo -doo -doo. Dave the Diver. Sean Patrick says, My post-defense treat will be introducing a friend to Dark Souls 3. Yes, please! Right. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm gonna pee, play Dave the Diver, and then I'm... Yeah. Yeah, great. Alright, be right back. Thank you. 
Oh, hi everyone, I'm back, look. Right. It's time to see if Dave the Diver makes me really annoyed like it did last time, because all of the NPCs are horrible. Uh, I can't wait to find out. Because that was great. Dave the Diver! Yeah, last time, um... Last time, just the NPCs, they just, they, they were very insulting, and it, it, I, it really... Oh, it put me on a bit of a mood, actually. Um... Hopefully, because I'm in a different mood today. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Carrie Choi has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of uh, a big old pear. If you imagine a pear, and then give it arms and legs and a face, uh, and then make it go way with a big thumbs up. That's exactly what we're seeing. Right, Dava the Duver. Duva the Duver. Uh, let's see. Signal from the sea people. Follow the signal's location. Uh, we need to find blue shells, brown shells. Uh, but mostly, we need fish for the restaurants. Pietro P says Dave should take a leaf out of the Duke's book and just fucking poison everyone. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Do, 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 do. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a bigger fuck in the diver. His name was a dive. He had a gun, and he shot things with it. He gathered uh, the seaweed. It was a nice. <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was, and I sincerely hope I never do it again in my life. I have come to realise, as I've got older, I don't even know if it's an ageing thing. My my laughs are getting pretty fucking weird. Like the whole like muttly laugh, like <laughs> is like my go-to laugh these days, and that feels weird to me. Come back here, you little fish bastard! Oh, you ch you you know what? You get to live that one. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, enhanced harpoon tip too. Simply, d ow! Oh fuck! Oh, I've been fucking poisoned. Simply, Dave M N has. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot this fucking thing. Fugu is going on the fuck in the menu. Yeah. Um, Simply, Dave M N says traces of the sea people. You just need a black light. Absolutely hilarious and horrible. Yes! Starry Puffer. Sounds like a slur, but okay. Ah! Purple Sea Urchin, why? I'm running out of air. Oh, I really am running out of air. Please, Dave, not die. There we go. Okay. Dive number nine. Wednesday the 10th, temperature 21 degrees, weather sunny, time minute 39, not my best, depth 29 meters, not my best, two fish caught, definitely not my best, obtained three, not my best, uh, but I got an 80 centimeter starry puffer, so as far as that goes, that's my best, there we go, <clears throat> off to the fish tank with them, wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. Applicant list. Oh, yeah. Well, there's an applicant for the Bancho Sushi hiring notice. Time to have a look-see. <laughs> Kerry, Kerry Mess says, told my mum she had a muttly laugh once. She laughed, realised I was right, then sent me to my room. All right. Here we go. 
Mario. Oh, I wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly, says Yoshi. But let's check out who we have. We're hiring. This is a pretty nice resume we have here. Let's hire this person right away. Okay. Hire. They don't cost any money. Why does no one get paid in this game? I'm going to make money fast and go traveling. Kyoko, I hate to tell you this, but no you fucking aren't. You're not getting paid. All right, looks like we have our first staff. Hired staff must be placed. Press square, press square, press spacebar to go to employee placement. Place in the kitchen or the dining area. Add them to your kitchen to cook food more quickly and dining area to serve food more quickly. As for our first staff, let's try a dining area assignment for now. Yes, please. All right, stating the obvious, but things will get tough without staff to help once more customers start coming in. Got it. Um, James Malcolmson has done a super chat saying, Watching the stream and Secret Sleepover Society play the same game is always a treat. They just did Punch Club 2, which overlaps beautifully with LSP Chaos. Interesting. Oh, it's pronounced Yoshi, Yoshi E, by the way. Yoshi E? Lucy? There's also training to consider besides hiring. That's all for now. Yes, we should train her up. You should train up your staff. Anyway. A new employee has joined the sushi bar. Okay, well, let's have a look at the menu. Today, we've got... Dum -dum -ta -da -dum -dum. We've got some Mediterranean parrotfish sushi. Uh. It's expensive. We're selling two of them. We've also got... Some red tooth triggerfish sushi. Which will enhance, why not? Let's do it. I love this cutscene in fairness. Yoshie, just about, I think. Ah, got it, Yoshie. Thank you, Lucy. Whoa, that nice, really sharp. Why are there so many fish in that tank? Why am I catching the. No, little fish is okay. Oh, no. I'm sorry. We'll sell two of those. And then let's put some cheap stuff on the menu. Two of those. Yellow tang. Two yellow tang. Whoops. Some reef trigger fish. Two of those. See how far that gets us tonight. Now, ingredients. Yeah, the starry puffer. We don't have any recipes we can use this in yet. Should I sell it? It would get us $15. Will it? I mean, but will it? Can we just keep it until it's time to use, I wonder? I don't know. Research. Oh yeah, new recipes. Oh yeah. Ooh. To Tokoroten. Didn't say that right. Maybe they got mixed with soy sauce. A cool, low-calorie dish that's good for your health. Sounds great. Research it. Should we research salt grilled red tooth triggerfish? Yes, why not? How about seasoned season cashmere? Yes, why not? Let's research everything we can. Boiled yellowback fusilier. We got an achievement! AWM Perry says I'm going to call it a night. Bye for now, folks. Take care of yourself. Uh, it's time to open up. Mancho Sushi. Boom, 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 boom. Hello, lady. Got some green tea? Who wants green tea? Whoa, fucking hell. Right. That's a perfect pour, baby. And this new staff room is great. 
Okay, we got two things out on the menu. Menu! We need to swap or add ingredients. Put another pirate fish back on there. The yellow tang went. Let's put three more back on? Yeah, sure, why not? And the reef trigger fish will put one more on. We're getting busy, look! I wonder what's good, says someone. Sushi? Doi? Silly. Please hurry up, they say. Oh, we need more star. Where's the other staff member gone? Oh, no, she's there. She's awesome. She's great. All right. Service could be faster. I need to go clean up. Get that one, would you? Uh, your, uh, uh, lady whose name I've forgotten. I'm so sorry. All right, I got this next one. Oh, my God. We've almost sold out of everything. Uh, how far into... Oh, it's closing time, though. So, like, fuck them. Yes, yes, yes. I want my fish. Yeah. Get out. Last customer of the day. Eh. Well, that went all right. Be good to hire another kitchen staff member. Artisan's Flame. We made $95. That's not as much as it was. <gasps> pay! Pay! Look! 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 Operation 16. Pay 14. Expenses $30. Cool. Joshua Jenkins says, dropping back into VOD Squad. Appreciate you, my good person. You're welcome. Is that the right thing to say? Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on VOD Squad. That's what I should have said. I'm not angry. I'm not annoyed. This game is nice. I think I was just... I just had a bit of a short temper last time. Oh, wait. Never mind. I forgot to tell you something. What is it, Miss Yoshie? When you hire more employees and purchase more ingredients, you'll have to take care of many things all at once. So I decided to give, to give you a management app, which works on your smartphone. You can check the current situation of Bancho Sushi at any time using it. You can check the status of your restaurant without visiting it. When I'm not in the restaurant, my dear friend, I'm at the bottom of the sea. I'm quite busy. That sounds handy. Oh, Zachary Smith says wait until Cobra shows up. Yeah, of course. I already linked the app. Why don't you check it on your smartphone? Why don't you check it up? <laughs> it's cool. I'm chill. I'm sure Bancho Sushi will grow bigger and prosper. Management app. The Castaway... Oh, Castaway DC's in chat. Hello. Been a long time. Hi, Johnny and all. Hope you're well. The cutscenes in this go harder than they need, and I'm all for it. I know, right? You can check Banzo's... Check it on your phone. Check it on your phone. Management. Recently sold. Fish. <laughs> Top sales recently acquired. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do-do-da-da-da. Do. -do -da -da. Do. Yeah, hey Cobra. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, Cobra the weapon, former weapons dealer. Forgot about that shit, didn't I? Right, let's dive. Bye bye. Customer DC says, sorry, not been around much. Life has been hectic. Don't you apologize. It's your life and you gotta live it. I'm just a dingus on the internet. You don't owe me shit. It's just nice to see you. That's all. Hello, fish. Get into my pocket. Thank you, Rainbow Ooh, some wood. I'll have another Rainbow Rass, actually. Thank you. A bit of wood. A shell! A shell! A gun! A gun! Shock harpoon tip. We like to see it. What are you? Apart from getting shocked with a thing. Yeah! Mediterranean par- oh, I forgot Mediterranean parrot fisher. Oh, well. Blue Tang. I'm in a much better mood for this this week. I, su I suspected that I was more just feeling a little bit... Um... 
was feeling a little bit just like yeah last time. I uh, also uh, am not. Uh, I'm non-binary, so despite the fact I'm quite mask presenting, my pronouns are actually they them, and uh, thus uh, being called sir doesn't really do it for me. Um, just something to make you aware. Speaking of things to make you aware of, can you hear Watson? She's snoring. Can you hear that? It's quite quiet now, actually. Uh, oh, no. Oxygen. All right, we got all the shells we need. Ellie is my least favorite NPC. She is the rudest one we've encountered, I feel. But still. Ew. Black spot sea bream. Some of this. Whatever's in here. It's a good dive today, it feels like. Is it going to be my bust? Might be my bust. Scrap iron, we don't hate it. Zachary Smith says, is the harpoon electric? Yeah, we found a shock tip. Anna P. Gabriel says, speaking of, what would you prefer, though? Your Highness? Is lad a masculine word? English is not my first language. Uh, I just... I, don't, I prefer no honorifics, really. Like, it... I've always hated it when people call me sir. Like, it just doesn't really do it for me. And, um... Oh, no, I'm over-encumbered. Um, just Johnny is is my favourite, really. Or pal, or... You know, like... It, makes, it just makes me feel weird anyway when people want to call me... It's like... I'm just a, just a, I'm just a me. I'm just, I'm just hanging out. We've got so much food, but you know what? I'm gonna bet that I can make it to the surface before I die. I reckon. Yeah, sweet. Mr. Tom for the wind says, I've never liked Sir either because it's always followed by you're causing a scene. <laughs> oh yeah, bosses. I, yeah, I get boss a lot. Uh, is dude alright for future reference? I prefer not. Like, I know a lot of people say dude as like a gender neutral, like meaning it as a gender neutral thing, but for me, it, it, it meh. It no bueno in, in, in my head, but like meh. Um, for more excellent jokes from Mr. Tom for the win, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Tom FTW. Oh, Ellie, hi. Hello. Real question, what about hey man? Nope. Man is... Mm -mm. Man, dude, lad, new. Can't just like... It. Not, not applicable. Uh, hmm, already... Phew, that was harder than I expected. These are hard to find. Well, this isn't bad. Now then, if I could just complete the delivery to Eco Watcher. Ta da! Haha! -ha, research level grant, uh, gained. Huh? Eco Watcher? Oh, you don't know? Eco Watcher is a mission based app made to protect the environment. You get points for completing missions on the app and get rewards for reaching certain levels. So this was for points on the app, not for a paper? Oh, uh, well, you could say they're basically the same thing. Ellie, you suck. Lucy says. Comrade is gender and class neutral. Entirely fair, Lucy. Nice witch. Come on. Right. Assisting Ellie. <laughs> I forgot what order the words go in. Use the Eco Watcher app to check on various ecological missions. Gather points to receive various rewards. I am the scourge of several fishes' life every day. Should I really have this app? Oh, oh, oh! I saw a kestrel today. I saw like two kestrels. Um, they were just like in a tree, being like, wah, 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 like they were kicking off. Um, and one of them had something. I think one of them might have been quite young, but they were kind of like they were making a shitload of noise, and they're really close by. 
Um, and uh, this is a cool little fact about me talking about apps. I've got an app called BirdNet, which uh, basically is um, you just get the app out and it starts recording audio and then you pause and you select a, a bit and you submit it to what's basically like a it's is it a neural network? No, probably not really. Um, uh, do, 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 do. It's like basically it it checks your sound clip against a bunch of sound waves of um, of bird calls and then uses that cross cross referenced with like GPS data on where you are to narrow down what it is. Um, so like today it was like we're the app is like, I'm almost certain that's the Eurasian Kestrel. And then it shows you a picture, and I looked at it, and I was like, yeah, that's a Kestrel, all right. And if you click on it, it shows you, like, it takes you to the Wikipedia page, and you can play the bird call and stuff. So I really enjoy um, just identifying some, some um, like, birds. Because, like, around certain times of the year in, in the woods where I walk, Watson, like, we can hear woodpeckers tapping away. But there was also this bird where I was like, what the fuck kind of bird is that? I don't, never know what that 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 noise is and then I realized it was one and the same it was a uh, Eurasian like green woodpecker although I've also seen lesser spotted woodpeckers in those woods and it's fucking cool and I love identifying birds but uh, yeah bird net good app there you go anyway uh, we found a green humphead parrotfish today uh, it was not my bust but uh, some other things are good there you go we got a shitload of stuff today though lagoon triggerfish Mediterranean parrotfish Green humphead parrotfish. Hmm. Bancho likes it. Bancho's into it. Should we do the signal from the sea people? I kind of don't. The thing, the thing about this is, I don't really care about the sea people element to this. I really like the dive sushi loop, you know. But I guess we could go check it out. Let's check it out. Boom. Ba -dum, ba -dum, doom. Septimus1026 has done a super chat saying, just saying hey and wondering if Johnny Keo Envy would be acceptable. It's a mouthful, but sure, yeah. What we got in here? Alexander Hansen says, the unrealistic part of this is the lack of trash. Well, in this game, it's already stated that this lagoon changes its configuration every single day. So I guess the trash has no chance to accumulate, right? WhoMD21 says, once again, Johnny is saying, fuck the sea people. Awooga, baby! All right, let's go find a trace of some sea people. Saying to Karma's done a super chat saying, my favorite thing is the net gun, so I can catch loads of small fish and enhance them to the moon. It's a great fallback to have for the second dive. I didn't know about that shit. That's great. Ah! At the minute, I really enjoy gun. Tighten trigger fish. Tighten your grip on these nuts. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! Good lord. Good lord. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> Pietro Peace is quickest one yet, I reckon. Yes. Agreed. No, I don't want to return to the boat. I want to find traces of sea people. Fucking hell. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, it'd be great to bag that shark if we can, in fairness. Oof de, oof de business. Oh, harpoon gives better quality fish than gun does, and it doesn't run out of ammo. Oh, thanks, anonymous. This is a good tip. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh yeah, no, that that makes sense. I just like having a gun, because that thing looked mean. Oh bollocks! Got to go round. Lead ore. Well, that would be nice and light, wouldn't it? Ooh, Mephi to go says I just hit a uh, thousand kilometers in cycling today. Good job. Hello. Oh, oh fuck off. 
starfish. You're easier to catch, aren't you? No. Oh, come here. Come on. Oh, pff, that was pathetic. Hello, you. Gonna spear you till you're mine. Diddly -de 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 Oops. Well, wow. that was a shit shot, wasn't it? That's got it. Ah! <laughs> What's wrong with me today? Just die, fish! I've got another tank of oxygen in here. You think I care about advancing the research into a hitherto unseen civilization? No! I care about putting you on a plate in a restaurant where I don't get paid. I'll I'll draw. I'll 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 haul iron on your ass. I will draw that gun if I need to. Oh fuck off, squid. Name is squid. You're a dickhead. Come on. Just let me do the mini game and catch you. This is embarrassing for both of us now. I will get the gun out. No, no. Look, I know you're in a lot of pain. The ooh, I'm bleeding. Yes, all the more reason for you to give up. Come here, fish. Come here. Come on. Saying to Karma says, I think they might have forgotten there's nap to upgrade equipment. Yes, I did forget that. Oh, fuck off. Come here. Finally. Thank you, Dusky Grouper. Now I'm really, really over encumbered. Maybe I'll drop the lead I've got. Oh, the Dusky Grouper's real heavy. Ah, oh, not even discarding the ore is going to help. Let's just tempt fate, hey? Uh-oh. A bad fish, who's not my friend. Oh, this is bad. No, critical depth. I can't go down that far. I can't go down that far at all. Up we pop. Karima says, wow, that is some light lead. I agree, I know. I'm not giving up those fish. They weigh a lot because they're great. Of a squid, where? That's what they're like. Baddy Wrongleg says, you're swimming in the ocean, carrying ah, carrying two lumps of lead and still able to... Oh, fuck! Rise to the surface? Yeah, baby, I'm hardcore. And I might die. Oh, I'm so fucked. Wait, the thing, the thing, the thing where you can call in the stuff. Yes, I know I'm running out of air. You're running out of go fuck yourself. Oh, uh, maybe this game does make me grumpy. Oh, shit! I got et by a shark. Well, I think I'll probably rescue nine kilograms of dusky grouper. Oh, you've always got to watch your oxygen, Dave. I got eaten by a shark, thank you. Dave's okay. It's all right. Well, well, well. Dive number eleven. Uh, date uh, the sixth of uh, of the tenth. Uh, temperature uh, twenty one degrees. Uh, nice and sunny today. Uh, wasn't down for. Well, I was nearly down for uh, for my bust. Um, only caught one. That's not my bust. I didn't obtain anything. That's not my bust. Uh, but I did go down to eighty meters today, and um, that's uh, that's my bust. That's my bust. So there we go. Mmm, grouper. Right. Let's have a look at the app where I can upgrade my stuff. Eye diver. There we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can. Oh my god, we can afford so much rock and stuff. Better air tank. Yeah. Better cargo. Yeah. Better that. <laughs> uh, better. Right, I can go to 150 meters now. And we can still afford an extra cargo box. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Who wants fish? Because that's what's for dinner. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Mirinka or whatever it's called. Let's have a look on Cookster. The soy sauce and wasabi are awesome too. We'll come again. We'll like that one. Sushi is the perfect light meal after a No one cares, Kodake. 
Uh, Milby. Hmm, shark sushi has a manly taste. I feel stronger. Not liking that. You sound like an incel. Bancho! We have received an award. News for me. Yoshie says it's good, but I can't get over the way it looks. It's a bit less gross on camera, so here goes. Fuck you, Yoshie. I still like it. Okay. Rank up. We need more followers. My page. Here we go, look. Here we go. Cool, let's go to work. Time skip? I want to go time skip. I want to go restaurant. Sushi. <sighs> okay. Boom. Ta. Dun dun dun. Ta da dun dun. Menu! What's new? Green hump head. Parrotfish. You know we can enhance that shit. Oh, he did the salt bay thing. <laughs> it's a pity salt bay's a wanker. Parrot fish. We're going to put two of those babies down on the menu. They're $20 a piece. You know it. <laughs> it's the music. It just makes me want to, like, talk like a jab end. Dun 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 dun. Let's enhance that blue tang. All three of those going on the menu, because I don't want to have to access the menu too much. Bit of red lionfish. We can enhance it, but then we can't... We'll have none to sell. If you enhance it, is it always forever enhanced? Surely not. Yellow back fusilier. Let's put that down. We need more egg. We need more ingredients. Ethan says yes. Well, heck, it stays enhanced. Oh, well, now I have to. Hang on, swear. What if I enhanced it but didn't put it on the menu? <laughs> I'll enhance fucking everything then. If I can enhance it, I'm enhancing it. I can't enhance that. Wow! Cool. Add staff to the kitchen, please. I have no staff. Why is nobody? Are we still? Are we still hiring? We should put. Oh no! I can't afford any advertising because I spent all my money on my diving gear. If you set the amount to auto, you don't have to visit the menu during opening hours and don't risk wasting as much food, says Anonymous. I quite like doing it, though. It makes me feel happy. And it pauses when you access the menu, at least. Jared says, well, exhaustion has caught up with me. What with the 14-hour shift and all? I catch the rest on VOD. Stay lovely, skelly pals. Take care, Jareth. Sleep well. That shift sounds like... No joke. Right. Let's open up. I really like that noise. Order some tea. What, are you not thirsty? There we go, cheap bastards. Perfect pour, as always. Yeah, Bancho. Bang. Yush. Shit, we sold out of two things already. Your service is slow. You're down the other end of the fucking bar. Oh, everything's... Oh, we've sold out of everything. We've sold out of absolutely everything. Add. Add three more of those. I can't add any more of those. So we've got to swap them. We'll just leave that sold out. Oh, tits. We're in trouble. I want tea. It's a perfect pour. You know that much. Look at this cheapskate ordering the cheap stuff. Oh, that's because the menu's almost out of everything. 
Way better than I expected. Go fuck yourself. Dushk. Star friend, you get it. You get it. You got it. Yeah. Go, star friend. Yush. When's it coming out? Right now! Well, that went well. Increase your rating now. Check in Cookster app. Yay! Emma Benton says, imagine going to a restaurant and having Johnny aggressively yell, order some tea at you. I think that'd be a delightful experience. I was a very nice barman the other week. When my favourite place was short-staffed, jumped behind the bar with my partner, we slung some pints. I had to refuse a man's service because he was battered. He looked like he wanted to hit me and then he didn't hit me. It was all good. Twelve new likes, eh? They liked the green hump head parrotfish sushi. Net profit, 143. We earned Artisan's Flame as well. Friday, the uh, 7th of uh, October. First things first, let's level up on Cookster. Rank up. Who are you? <gasps> Cookster rating. We did it. We're silver now. More eel curry, striped red mullet tangle roll, and white trevally kombu ochazuke. Dang. Menu slot plus one, serving staff plus one, wasabi max plus five, cooking slot plus one, added interior, 18. It's only the morning. I need to go. We have to research this shit? Fuck you. Oh. Ooh. Making me really hungry. Stevie Wonderbread says, In my head, he dramatically leapt over the bar and started pouring pints four at a time. When I turned up, there were loads of glasses that needed collecting, and the tables outside were wet because it had rained briefly, so I was running around collecting glasses and squeegeeing the tables. It was good fun. We got there in the end. All right, cool. Um, well, let's go dive. Yeah, cat. Yeah, Momo. Let's go boat. Bantro Sushi uploaded a new post. Let's go like it. We got a silver trophy. We have been recognized. Damn right we have. Have you got the cat food yet? No, I haven't. Uh, Sukuno19. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Management. Sales. Staff. Oh, I want to go... Would it time skip if I go back to the restaurant? Let's find out, I guess. But I do want to hire someone. No, it's still the morning. Staff. I said staff. No staff. Waiting room. No staff. TV ad, hey? Let's do it. Apply now. Hiring has begun. Hmm. Cool. Let's go. Back to boat. Doom da ba da. Da 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 doom da da da. It's a good game, I like it. Ba dum ba dum ba. Alright, let's go diving. Go find the traces of the sea people. No. <laughs> good one, Johnny, you really nailed that. 
Oh, we got 114 oxygen though. Maybe we can make it today. What we got in here? I want to find more blueprints. For yes! For that dork <laughs> who'll sell us stuff. Oh wow, that got used up quick. Oh well. Fine. We'll go find your silly little trace of the people. People. Mr. Tom for the winters. I need to get a move on. See you all later, you lovely lot. Take care, Mr. Tom. Lots of love as ever. And a reminder, if you uh, uh, want to check out Mr. Tom for the win, you can do so on twitch.tv slash Mr. Tom FTW. Mr. Tom's a very nice man. You should check out his streams. Go away, big fish. So many big fish. Fuck off. Why don't they all fuck off? Oh, that's a big, big... Ah! Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Ooh, a cooking thing. Run! Soy sauce! Soy sauce! Run! <laughs> Not soy sauce run, but run. Also, there's soy sauce. I don't like fine stuff for sea people. I always die when happen. Man, then in the hat. Coming from inside, there are letters I've never seen before written on the pillar. If we had a tool of some sort, we could move aside that pile of rocks and try going outside. I think it would be best to talk this over with Cobra. Come on up for now. Come on up for go fuck yourself. Oh god. Oh no. Please, I'm also still being hunted. Uh oh. I thought I heard something. <laughs> Castaway DC says you have to access Mr. Tom's channel with that exact intonation. It's true. Otherwise he doesn't let you watch. You know what? I'm just going to shoot this one dead. Sorry, I know it spoils the meat, but I haven't got much oxygen left. Just die! Hope my neighbours didn't hear that. Actually, you know what? They've got a pretty good measure of me as a person. I don't care if they did. I, so help me, I will die trying to catch this fish. I don't give a fuck. I'll give a bit of a I got it, I got it. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Come on. Harvest, harvest, harvest. <gasps> we can cook with that. We can cook with that. It's it's fish. <laughs> I meant that we'd unlocked a recipe, but sure, it's fish. That'll do. Nailed it. Bang. Escape pod. Boom. Best fisherman in the world. Go, Dave. Fucking hell. Oi, oi, oi. Hey, Dr. Bacon. Quixotic Raven says, Oh, Johnny, I've been re-watching some of your video game streams. Did you ever finish Strange Horticulture? I love that game. I didn't. I should go back to it, because it's good. I'm going to like it. I found a place with a signal from the Sea People Civilization. I can't hold back my academic thirst to check it out. Choice phrase, but okay. I'm at an important symposium right now. Please talk it over with Cobra first. I'll come by tomorrow. Signal from the sea people. Mission complete. Oh. Huh? How to get rid of rock piles? You'll have to use a bomb, of course. Ha ha ha. Classic Cobra. Is it okay to detonate bombs underwater? Why aren't you talking about a rock pile somewhere deep below? I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Right. Oh. Table 9 Studio says weird interaction. The meat quality only cares about the last hit. You can shoot a fish to 1 HP and then spear it and it still counts as good. Nice. Let's put a little trust in the sea's regenerative power. He's trying to gloss things over again. But there's an issue. The delivery ships haven't been arriving lately. I need to get a delivery from a bomb expert, I know. That sounds perfectly above board. Apparently the ship's gone off the radar. I think it's sunk. If I could use the drone I ordered, we could retrieve the supplies. Dave, could you go into the sea and retrieve drone materials? I'm not annoyed this week because I'm in a better mood, but ugh. Drone materials? How am I supposed to find them in the ocean? It's huge. Delivery boxes are likely to have been carried by the ocean currents. Look for a place with ocean currents. Hmm, that sounds dangerous. Where the currents flow. Well, um, the dive log, uh, dive number 12 on the uh, front of the 7th of the 10th. Uh, 21 degrees, sunny weather as per usual. Uh, a quick dive today, not my best. Uh, two fish caught, one obtained, uh, neither my best. But uh, a depth of 95 metres, uh, I think you could agree. 
that's my best. And we got giant trevally meat and some soy sauce. Hmm, Bancho liked it. All right, let's go dive again then. Do I cannot be bothered to find drone parts right now, but. Giant blue hole. It's still funny. Rope! Why not? We'll get some rope. Fish. That's what I also want for my restaurant. Rainbow Rass. Shock Bang Stick. A stick type weapon that releases a powerful electric discharge. Sure. Why not? What's in this? Gun! Hush dart. The non-lethal tranquilizer gun hush dart. Successfully tranquilized fish can be sold expensively, you could say. Well, that sounds like a bad idea. Let's do it. Ow, fuck! Oh, can we trank you? Become vulnerable again, please. There we go. Do it! <laughs> ah, it didn't work! It's going to be a short dive today. Great. We've got a starry puffer, and we're almost out of air, because I am silly. <sighs> Return to boat. It's a quick dive, you got to admit it. <laughs> oh, the trank takes a few seconds. Well, that makes sense. Uh, so, uh, second dive of the day today, dive number 13. Uh, funnily enough, uh, not this. Uh... Don't know what else to expect from number 13, <laughs> but uh, maybe better tomorrow. We did get a starry puffer, though, and it's um, uh, asleep. Sainted Karma says, can I bring your attention to a service time mechanic that's not very well explained? Please do, yes. Starry puffer's worth bank, though. Look at that. Boom. Wrap your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. I will. That was a three-star puffer too. Tranked or netted fish are even better quality than spearing. Should I sell it? Oops. Because I've got that one, right? Or did it automatically sell? Dum 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 dum. Did it auto sell or do we still have it? I don't really understand. Giant Trevally meat. Let's look at the menu, shall we? Giant Trevally meat. Let's enhance it. High quality in this game just means more meat chunks for use. Aha! Thank you, Table Nine Studio. Just so you can make more sushi out of it. Okay. There's a bar at the right side of the screen that goes down every time a dish is completed. Dave needs to replenish it by interacting with it, says Sainted Karma. Okay. I lost so much due to that. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll have a look at that in a moment. I'm going to put four of those on. I'm going to be very brave today. It's very expensive, but people are going to love it. I'm going to put three of those down. We're being very brave today. We don't have much fish left. I need to do more fishing. Oh, shit. Oh, do we get stuff? Can we hire a staff today? A staff. Oh, wow. Okay. Close that. Staff. Add staff. Give it some time until... Oh, that's right. We only put the uh, thing out today. It's the bar on the right side of the screen. With this... We'll, okay, we'll, we'll see it in a bit, I guess. Or I'll fuck it up. Who knows? All right. Sukune19 says, Wasabi! What about it? What about it? We got anything we can research? No, we can't afford that. Ingredients. All right. I wish I liked wasabi. I can't, like, so I can handle chili. Um, it only shows when the restaurant's open, okay. I can handle... A lot of spice when it comes to chilies, but when it comes to wasabi, or, um... Oh, it's the wasabi mechanic. Oh, it is literally wasabi. Okay. Oh! 
Is that... Are those wasabi root there? We need to grate them. Um... Uh, brr, wasabi, like English mustard, I can't, a horseradish, like it goes straight into my sinuses and I can't really handle it. I quite like the taste, but the burn is just too much for my little nose. Oh, I see it. Yeah, that's the wasabi. Okay. Da -dum -da -dum. Oh, you want some tea, do you, pal? All right. Oh, and you want some tea right the way down there, do you? Okay. That's bad for me. Yush. All right, then back I go. Lucy says natural wasabi is so different. Oh, I'm sure I've never had it before in my life. Ah, you won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill the wasabi before it runs out. Oh shit! I mean, okay, great. We need more kitchen stuff. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Got it. Just about. You want some tea, do you? You want some tea, do you, mate? Ah, oh, fuck this, haven't I? We're well, not the poor. Oh, the poor was good, so yes, I fucked it. Well. I'm always perfect with it. But, you know what? That person down there can kiss my bippy. Yeah, leave. Go on. Go away. Oh, we've run out of everything. Yush. But it's, ne it's nearly the end of the night. You know what? People, you can just, you know what? You can just deal with. You can just deal with what we give you. Yush. Riley Murray says, Johnny, do you like sushi? I do. I like sushi a lot. Oh, where'd he go? All right. Bye, sushi. I like sushi a lot. I just can't really handle wasabi. I haven't tried real stuff. I'm sure, but, um, yeah. Artisan's Flame, all right. I'm gonna do two more dives and one more session at work, and then I will call it for today, I think. Dive! Joseph Clark says, what is a bippy? My sweet bippy, it's my bum. Right. Today we're catching fish. That's all we're doing today. Because we're running out of things for them on you. Blue tang! Oh, where? Oh, the harpoon. Oh, that fish is... Sorry, fish. Joseph Clark says, so the phrase is literally, you bet my sweet bum. Yeah, you bet your sweet bippy. Come on, we need more than tang today. Other note says, does this imply the existence of a, of a sour bippy? A salty bippy? Yeah, why not? Bippies come in all shapes, shapes and sizes and, and presumably flavours and textures, you know. Bippies. Sentient Karma says, has the uh, recruitment worked yet, or is that the next day? We should be able to see some stuff today. Ow! Fuck! Every day, every day I run into that same asshole fucking puffer fish. Every day. Every day. Hey, you. You big fucking trigger fish. You're coming home with me. Oh, no, not if I fucking do that. Boink. Come on. Come on. You. It's what's for dinner. Yes. Thank you. Great. Hello, mate. Sorry, Lagoon Trigger Fish. But I got a harpoon and a restaurant to uh, work at for free. You look like shrimp. Are you shrimp? 
Hello? Yes, I cannot hit you with a harpoon. Ah, fuck off. Ha <laughs> ha How the turntables! Titan trigger fish. You suck. We'll grab a couple of uh, these little Adidas shoe people. And then uh, we'll call it a day, I reckon. Rainbow Rass, that's what you are. You need a different tool for the tiny things. Oh yeah, I figured. Anonymous. It was nice. It was fun to try, though. Just like Black Spot Sea Bream is fun to try over rice. With the simple flavours of soy. And wasabi. And seaweed. I am become Dave, destroyer of fish. Yes, yes, we get it, puffer fish. Right, let's try it. Table 9 Studio says, I was watching the old Ox Venture in space yesterday, and every time you vary up the shmup, it still kills me. Ah, uh, yeah, coconut shmup. Ah, uh, yeah, I enjoyed doing that very much. Those were some fun streams. Starry Puffer! <laughs> this sounds, sounds like someone's like school bully seeing them at a reunion and deciding to just try and call them by the same name and humiliate them all over again. Starry Puffer! How you doing? Heard you got two kids now, so you got finally laid. And then he gets punched in the face. That's how that story ends. Come here, you're my last catch of the day. Yes, that'll do, I think. Well, one more, why not? Hello! You didn't run fast enough. And we're back to the boat. Uh, not my best today. Not my best. Uh, plenty of blue tang. Uh, green humphead parrotfish. Titan triggerfish. Shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have tried to mess with me. Starry puffer. Got that one as well. Off to the fish tank with those ones. And, uh, back down for Dave. Don't know what's wrong with me. Da -da -da. I mean, so much, but, I mean, in this specific instance, you know what I mean. Oh, in nine minutes I clock off for the rest of the week and uh, I'm going to try and finish a book. That's going to be fun. I assume I'm absolutely going to lose my noodle this weekend. Just me and a laptop and a dog. But if it all pays off, then cool. That'll be nice. Right, you know what, motherfucker? I've got all day. I've got all day. Okay, not that long. <laughs> no, so it says, finish a book, eat a curry, watch Mamma Mia and Mamma Mia 2, here we go again. <laughs> uh, finish reading or writing a book, says Crins back then. I'm going to try and finish writing one. Um, I've been working on one on and off for... About 19 months now. And I'm going to try and finish it. I'm getting there. I've got over 50,000 words. And, uh, but I just, like, it's getting to the point now where I just want to finish the first draft, even if it's dreadful. So I can just start polishing it and changing it and send it to some early readers and yada, yada, yada. So I'm just going to give it a go. Just going to give it a go. Um. It'll be a long time before anyone's going to see it, because it's only a first draft, and I want to finish the first draft, and then I'll be perfectly honest with you, I might try and sell it. Uh, and then if it doesn't get picked up by anyone, which is kind of what I'm assuming will happen, uh, I might go down the unbound route, or, you know, just, just see see where I get to with it, really. Um, but I'd like to at least try, like send it to a couple of literary agents or something like that. But uh, I'm, I'm giving it all of this, but it could be fucking dreadful. I don't really know. <laughs> God, I'm, 
I'm months into that point where I can't see the wood for the trees, but we'll see. So yeah, there we go. That is the plan. So I'm going to go absolutely... I'm just going to... Yeah, basically, unless I'm walking the dog, I'm going to try... Or sleeping, I'm going to try and be writing this weekend. We'll see how it goes. Come back here, fish. All right, that one can go. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we've got no shortage of stuff to be selling, which is nice. And now I know about wasabi, so that's good. It's quite funny how Bancho literally won't cook food unless there's wasabi. I think that's very funny. Incidentally, it is the most terrifying thing I've ever done to be talking about trying to finish a book uh, to actual people. Um, because writing for me has always been a thing I never I just don't tell anyone about. And so telling people about it makes it seem very scary and it also makes it feel like an enormous act of hubris. So that's fun. A sign of growth? Yes. A, a massive folly? Probably. We'll see. Return to boat. Um, I'm not going to talk, like, uh, Bat Dad says, are you willing to share your theme or premise? It's uh, it's kind of a bit of magic realism set in London. That's kind of all, I, all I'm going to share for now, but hope it's okay. We'll see. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. Let's do it. Stevie Wonderbread says, I must be off, but good luck. Best of luck with your writing this weekend. Thank you very much, Stevie. Let's go sushi. Traces of the Sea People, Chapter 1. Okay. Staff. Why no applicants? Oh shit, we do have applicant. You cost how much to hire? Oh my god, I can't afford to hire any of you. Whoops a daisy. Well, better sell some sushi. Fuck, I really fucked this up, haven't I? Giant Trevally meat. We'll sell three of those. Because it sold out last night. Thomas Ford has done a super chat saying, as someone with serious anxiety, depression, and just finishing the first draft of a novel, everything you said is relatable and I feel less alone. Okay, I'm really glad, really glad I was able to help because, yeah, it is bloody scary. Um, but hopefully you'll get there and so will I. And look, it doesn't have to be good. It just has to be done. I said I was going to finish the first draft of a novel. I didn't say I was going to finish the first draft of a good novel. I'm just going to give it a go, because it's something I've kind of always wanted to do. And if I can do it, great. So, yeah. But hey, Thomas Ford, serious anxiety and depression and trying to finish the first draft of a novel. I relate to that a lot. <laughs> Rainbow Ras Sushi. Let's enhance the shit out of that, because we caught a lot of Ras today. I'm going to put five of those on the menu. Why not, hey? See, Black Spot Sea Bream, I'll enhance it, and then I will sell two of them. Just for fun. Koma Sushi. Yeah, why not? Bobby says, absolute worst case is you're awful at writing, even then there's absolutely nothing bad about writing a book or telling people. Thank you, that's really, genuinely really helpful. Uh. All right, let's open Bancho Sushi. Oh god, it's three minutes to eight. I thought two more dives and one more session at the restaurant would would take me to like about ten minutes to. Whoops, a daisy. Bobby says, besides, to get good at something, you uh, you have to persevere at being bad at it for ages. Like Jake the dog says, sucking at something is the first step to being kind of good at something. This place seems different. Yeah, it's different because it's great. Othernaught just said the same thing. Jake the dog's so great. Who gets impatient waiting for green tea when they can see me pouring green tea to the other people in the restaurant who were here first? Fuck off. Oh, oh my god, this staff member's so quick. Bancho, Bancho, through no fault of his own, cannot kick out the food quick enough. The food's coming out too slowly. Eat up and fuck off. Uh oh, run, 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 if you're me. 
Run down the restaurant to get the food. Now we're so fucked. Things are selling out though. Yush. Komasushi's gone. Great. Boom. Wasabi. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, we're slow today. Oh, bin that off. Oh no, we're getting rid of some sushi. Oh, yeah, alright. Lucas says you really need to put your staff member on kitchen rather than serving. Oh well. I'll know for next time. That's our best day though. Oh, lots more boss. Oh, lots more boss. $357 in, in food. Lots more boss. Great. All right, everyone, that about does it for today's stream. Um, Storyteller was fucking magnificent. And you know what? Look at that. Dave the Diver uh, didn't piss me off today, so that's nice. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's all from me today. Uh, tomorrow you can catch new episodes of... Uh, no, not tomorrow. Saturday. Saturday. Um, Saturday you can catch new episodes of Ghost of Tsushima, and then I'll be back on Monday, assuming I haven't just run off into the woods to scribble a story onto the bark of a tree with a tooth that I plucked from my own skull. Which is a possibility. If I do that, I'll try and live stream it from my phone, but for as long as my um, my battery lasts. Anyway, uh, so, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, Saturday, me again on Monday, and then me again on Thursday. You know, things, things, things. And also... Uh, thank you, Lily Payne. On Friday the 28th of this month, uh, you can catch the first episode of Oxventure Presents Deadlands, um, which is Andy DMing, uh, marshalling, I should say. The first ever, it's it's the first ever RPG I played, and it's still my favourite. Um, it is, he's done such a good job, and I love Deadlands, and I think it's going to be really special. So, uh, check that out as well. Put that in, put that in your calendar. Uh, so I'll see you soon. However, uh, however you 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 uh, encounter me on the internet, uh, if you want to encounter me on Patreon, it's patreoncom forward slash Johnny Chiodini. If you are willing and able to support me through that, it really does make a difference. And uh, yeah, um, that's about it for for me. I am gonna go turn into a weird word banana. Uh, catch you soon. Lots of love. Goodbye. And I'm sorry about that thing that made me turn on the regret screen. Um, that, yeah, that was just my bad. All right, bye.